How's it going? <clears throat> mm. Let me let me just tweet out really quickly. Let me also turn on the audio on this. This is a little bit loud. Yeah, there we go. That that sounds right. Or it looks right, I hope. Oh boy. Live now. I should update my Twitter profile picture, but I also don't want to spend effort in any way. everybody doing today switch on over to the hangout screen everything's good everything's good on the hangout screen perfect excellent <clears throat> uh i hope everybody's doing all right i've got a sore throat and a and a cough but i want to play video games and nothing can stop me nothing i will game i will game till the ends of the earth Uh, so in order to actually demonstrate that, I'm going to open the video game now. Uh, let's move that sucker over to the right screen. It's probably gonna go full screen on the wrong screen anyways, but I'm trying. Cam out. Cam out, cam out! Oh, it went on the right screen. Fantastic. Uh, in that case, pause YouTube, close it out so I can save some RAM. Uh, now, in order to uh, increase the uh, rendering speed, I've cut the stream down to 30 FPS. Uh, so hopefully it's not too uh, distracting, but you know, hopefully that helps. <clears throat> but in that case, I can also turn this down to 30. There it is. Hello. Hello, gaming. Let me also raise up my, uh, leap motion. I, it's kind of weird having my hand always be on the mouse at all times, but that's kind of the deal that we got here, you know? I don't, like... What else am I gonna do to play the video game? Not grab the mouse? Gaming! Hi, Vanilla! Welcome to gaming. I did some testing to make sure to try and increase uh quality but it didn't go super well so uh we're 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 gaming best we can hero worship uh increased value for basic potions good sensation trait has more impact oh that's a trait okay eight days till the competition i've got one good ass pot but not enough good ass ingredients so I need to go get some good-ass ingredients. What potions do I have? I've got some good-ass potions. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna sell some shit. We've got some good potions. We need some money. That's what we need. We need money first and foremost. What do we have brewing? I don't think we have anything brewing. So let's brew some shit. Ice Tonic, Sight Enhancer, and Speed Potion. Red and blue. Right, I don't have a lot of blue. Uh, Sight Enhancer. Red, green, yellow. Okay. Let's brew a sight enhancer in the in the worst worst pot. Uh, let's get some good bees in there. Yeah, you're a good bee. Very stable. I'll take it. <clears throat> uh, right, let's give you some uh, cactus to, to, to cook on. Uh, let's also brew some more mana potions. What do we have? We've got uh, three health potions, two mana potions... You know, no, you know what we need? Uh, no, we've actually got the fire tonics to actually go and send her out and do shit. Um, let's, let's brew some more tonics for existences. Yeah, because we're going to be fighting, we're going to be going into new areas shortly. So let's go for this. perfect, but we'll only get a possibly common Thunder Tonic. Uh, eh. Well, we can increase the, uh, the quality by giving some of these. But I would need to increase the D, but I don't have any D. I only have B. Uh, I can- I'm fine with, uh, chance of losing a star on completion. We got seven out of the eight ingredients. Uh, sure. Whatever. Take it. This will take the entire day to brew. I just need- I just need better ingredients. That's the thing. Also, I apologize if there's uh, loud noises in the background. It's uh, it's Saturday night and there's a there's a fight on. So, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to turn this in, huh? I don't have uh, <clears throat> the ability to brew greater thunder tonics or drowsiness cures at the time at the moment. So, whoops. Uh, I need the money. I can't buy anything, so let's sell some shit. Isn't today Friday? It is Friday. You're right. Whoopsies. Common mana potion. Common speed potion. Yeah, let's sell these, and then we'll put... Yeah, these will get some people in the door. <clears throat> Let's also sell one of these enhancers, just to be safe. Okay. 
So this, we should get some good sales today. Now that I've got like two shelves to sell shit on. All right, here we go. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Everybody doing good? You look eager to make a sale. I need to know more about this potion before I can make a decision. Smart. I'm not losing any frames to rendering lag. Isn't that fantastic? And we plant the seed and end the turn. This potion could save your life. Yeah? Yeah? Let's see what we can get from scheming. Okay. Um, let's just uh, pump up and uh, close it out. No, let's uh, keep your guard up and then close it out. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Couldn't get it to the next tier, but still sold for 164. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get. I can't believe you people get up this early. Me either, man. I want to make a deal with you. I've still got 10 patients to work with. Ooh, draw one fewer cards at the start of this turn. Eesh. I've got- I've got enough patience left. I can still keep going. I can go further. This is what it's like to sell even further beyond! Saffron! Hey, what's good? How's it going? You got any dank tank for me? I, I can light it up. Here, take... Eh, hey, yeah, you know what's up. Did you catch the sunrise? It was a beauty. I've had my eye out for something like this. Alright, I'm ready to- I'm ready to make some sales. I'm ready to make some fucking sales. Alright, uh, I've got set him up and pump up, so let's- let's reel him in first. Let's keep- let's, uh, press the attack, see what we get. Press the attack, see what we get. Uh, keep your guard up and then close them out. That's the plan. Is this gonna- is this gonna be a max heart? Is this gonna be a maximum? Maximum power? Maximum sales power? Max interest! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! That's awesome. Get shocked. Pog as fuck. I did it. I'm selling like crazy. Let's see what we got. Captivate again. Press the attack. Plant the seed. Pump up. End the turn. I'll be able to get a good sale at the end of this. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is the last turn. Yes. Okay, excellent. I can set him up. I can reel him in, and then I can close the deal. All right. If only I had a closing card, then I could get to maximum interest again. Uh, but in the meantime, 
Upsell of 37% on a day that's good for potion sales is not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, I sold a good number of potions. Okay. Still got two left on the shelves though, but uh, luckily we've got some uh, some brews that are ready to uh, bottle. This one. Nice. Oh, what to brew. I didn't get any ingredients, so... Not a poison cure, but a sleepy cure? Sure, let's get a sleepy cure. Oh, right, I don't have any D ingredients. I can't make a sleepy cure. I can't make anything that has D in it. Can't make anything that has E in it either. I don't have that uh, ingredient yet. Uh, in that case, uh, mana potions? Yeah, let's go mana potions. C. Let's see, anything that's worth, like, a bunch of B? Yes, you. Yes! Excellent! Magnificent! Don't have any wood to brew this over, though. So this is gonna be a tomorrow brew. Let's go get some ingredients and some firewood. That's gonna be important, too. <clears throat> hmm. I do feel like I've lost a little bit of the plot. But it's fine. Let's get out there. Roxanne's enchantments? Aren't you just below me? Why do I need to travel to go meet you? I guess that's sort of like the whole point is traveling requires time and uh, meeting with people requires time. Speaking of time, let's rank up Mint! Yeah? How about your place? Okay, alright, let's do this shit. Hi Mint! I swear I stepped in every puddle on the way over here and half the chewing gum. That's something they don't tell you about city living. People just drop their gum wherever they want. Oh, but don't listen to me, Sylvia. I'm just in a mood today. No harm done? You want to talk about it? I'd rather do something. That's why I asked to come over. Is the fire in your cauldron good and hot? Sure. You want to brew some potions? I was thinking more along the lines of comfort food. Let's bake. Ooh, baking. There are people in this town who have no cookies, Sylvia. And that is an injustice I cannot allow to continue. Based. Based. I want some cookies. Sylvia almost asked whether that's sanitary, but she decides it doesn't really want she doesn't really want to know the answer. You seem to be working out some aggression on that dough. A little bit, yeah. The thing is, I hate to admit this after working so hard to get here, but I'm struggling to find my place in the guild. What if I never fit in? So don't try to fit in. Carve out your own space and they'll have to make room for you. Say, that's basically my whole motto back home. It's somehow harder here, though. I'm not used to second-guessing myself, but I'm also not used to being surrounded by actual honest-to-goodness heroes. Some of whom are legends doing the best work of their careers. And we're all competing for the same quest, the same loot. Talk about intimidating. I wanted to join the guild since I was a little kid, but nothing in my childhood prepared me for this. Tell me more. What sort of adventures did you go on as a kid? My hometown was way too quiet for adventures of any kind. We didn't even have a local chapter of the guild. The nearest heroes were leagues away. I read everything about them I could get my hands on, from dusty library tomes to trashy gossip magazines. I hounded every bard in town to sing the ballads until I'd memorized their exploits. The more I knew, the easier it was to daydream that I was one of them. So you were the kind of kid who had her head in the clouds. Literally, I was always looking out for dragons. Based. The whole area is monster free. No matter how hard I looked, I never found gremlins in the cookie jar or slimes in the shrubs. Couldn't even find any side quests. The closest I got was the time old man Harwell's walking stick broke. I had to track down some tape, and that's what passed for excitement back home. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit out of my depth here. But I've come up with a plan. I think it's a good one. Ooh, cute and clever. That's clearly the flirtatious option. Or I had a feeling you had to have a plan is the friendly option. I'll flirt with anybody. I'm spicy. This is the spicy model, so we have to be spicy. Cute and clever. You're the whole package. 
Nah, I'm just a tank, and tanks face problems head on. So let's hear this plan. Like all the best plans, it's simple. Every hero has the tools of the trade, and every famous hero I read about as a kid had a famous weapon. Wielding a one-of-a-kind legendary weapon is a surefire way of proving I deserve to be here. Let's get you a hammer. You, you seem to like hammers. Let's get you a hammer, something epic. That is certainly my weapon of choice, but I may have to take whatever I can find. There aren't enough legendary weapons to go around. Every one that's accounted for has been claimed. However, plenty of weapons have gone missing over the years. Some of them right here on this island. They're out there waiting to be rediscovered. I've just got to track one down. A great labor to win my place among the legends. Speaking of great labor, I should be getting back to work soon, but I have to say I like this plan. Me too. I'm confident I've got the skills to search for legendary loot and battle beasties at the same time. Fight off enough slimes and you learn to let muscle memory guide you. Same for haggling with customers, probably. Uh, ooh. Muscle memory. Zero interest. Nice. I'm definitely picking up some good moves. You and me both. Let's show everybody what we've got. Starting with these cookies. They smell ready to me. And then they weren't. Everyone in the town got Salmonella, and that's the next day's debuff. She's awesome. She's epic. Alright, I want to see if we can beat the Bone Wastes. Some fire, some healing, some mana. Test. Oh yeah, easy peasy. All right, let's beat this fire area and get me those ingredients and get me pictures of Spider-Man while you're at it. Ah, it's time. Step into my parlor. This is going to be good because I can sell a lot of good things with enchantments, uh, uh, with this good sensation today. Oh boy, that's, uh, that's, that's loud, isn't it? One Kraken with 40 red! Oh boy, that's good shit. 15 of everything with a good sensation. Oh no, that's uh, that's my enchantment. The yellow is my enchantment, okay. Fairy flower broom is pretty good. Rotfly adults have good C. Uh, ta 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 ta. I need to save my money. I've got other things I need to do today. So, thank you for that. Uh, let's go hang out with, let's get some ingredients. We need some more, uh, Brewing stuff. Let me do your thing. All right, Quinn, you got this. Yeah, all right, cool. I know you've got a bit of everything. Oh, sale, right, I've got the coupon. I forgot I had the coupon. Thank you, Quinn, for the coupon. All right, let's see. What ingredients do I have? Got a lot of uh, these cheap, cheap ingredients. I need some, uh, I need some better things. I need um, more of these horned jellies. I need some uh, D ingredients. The glass ore is kind of the best one, I think. Ugh, whew, fuck me. That's a good one, but it's uh, not really worth it. This one's also not worth it. It's got too many Magimins for me to work with. This pearl is pretty good for D ingredients. What was the... Uh, 18 versus... 12? Yeah, okay. So 18 is the best blue that I have right now. This one's good too. 110... 40, uh, uh, 110, 32, 132 total Magimins for 167 bucks. Uh, I don't, the only issue is that I don't think that I'll be able to really, uh, like, work with it that well. Okay, so for blue, 
Glass ore, best. All right, what else do I have? What else do I have? Uh, what else do I need? <sighs> ice tonic, and ice tonic requires one to one red and blue. Let's see if there's anything super great for red that I can get. Like, because I've currently just been using these horn jellies, which is 18. I feel like it's getting louder, which is unfortunate. Yeah, the bog beats are really good for green. I'm going to buy two of them just to make sure that I have them. 18 red. 18 six. That's good. Because that'll put some blue in my step. Beyond that, uh, the Swamp Oct Octopus is also 24 Magimins. That's pretty good. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Have slime. Well, I could get used to slime. Yeah, you better get used to slime. I've got a lot of it that I need to give away. How about that? I did a thing. Thanks, Quinn. Love you, Quinn. Fantastic, Quinn. Did you know that it all falls down? And the next thing I really need is another good shelf. Which will require 270 bucks. 270 bucks and I come back here the next day. Do you want a slime? I'm gonna give you a slime. Eh. Seeing you is gift enough because you don't like slime. I'm gonna give slimes to everybody because I don't use the slimes anymore. Everybody eats slime. I'm gonna be the slime potion seller, the one who gifts slimes to everybody. Like what I've done with the place? No, have a slime. I think I gave this cubic ooze. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good. It's uh, it's quite annoying. Oh, I can rake up with her. It almost feels appropriate for this costume. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the background music. I sure hope it doesn't get me copyright stricken. It should be too muffled to actually pick that up, but have a slime. It's nice enough. I think it's funny that I give you slime and that you don't like it. Have slime. Your generosity humbles me. What a thoughtful present. Thank you. Uh, now I can rank up with a bunch of people. Let's see. Should I stay out and rank up with them? I... I don't really... I have a bunch of potions to sell. But... I have... There's a benefit right now and I just bought an enchantment for it. So it is worth it to go back home. So go back home, I shall. Maybe tonight? No, I, I'll, I'm gonna sell tonight. Because I, I gave I gave an enchantment to make it better for selling good sensibilities. Okay, let's arrange potions. I do need more money, that's true. All right, let's focus on selling potions, potions, potions potions. It is actually much louder now. One oh six. Seventy two and seventy two. Seventy two. Sixty nine. Nice. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is some good fucking sales. This is some good fucking sales if you ask me. And everything is enchanted with good sensibility. All right, here we go. Let's sell some shit. All right, gamers, let's do this. I'm captivating you. I forgot to change my deck. I got a new card. I'm just not totally convinced it's for me. What debuff did I get? Or no, she just put on a debuff on herself. 
All right. Let's plant the seed. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. And pump up. Oh, why did I do that? I should have pumped up and then put my guard up because I thought I had more patience than I did. Whoops. Poor thinking. Baptiste! Hey, man! What's going on? All right, let's captivate you, get some sympathy, and set him up. That one's a winner. All right, let's captivate again. Nah, mm, let's set him up. Captivate and scheme. I love scheming. Alright, let's press the attack. Okay, alright. We'll pump, keep your guard up, reel them in, pump up, close it out. That only costs, uh, five, uh, five patients, but that's kind of, I can't end the turn with that, so, yep. All in a row, here we go. I think that was optimal but it might not have been. Hello, friendly professional. I'm going to captivate you. All right, that's a, that's a good hand. Money's tight, oh no. It's a good thing I had a shield up, otherwise I would have been pretty stressed out about that. Okay, uh, <sighs> I'm gonna have to close out this deal, like now. I was thinking I'd plant the seed, plant the seed, pump up and end the turn, but I don't have enough patience for that. I can really only pump up, set him up, and then close the deal. Shame, shame, I wish it could have been uh, done better. I've got reel him in, uh, so we'll set him up, reel him in, and then shock them. Ten interest is pretty good. Oh, come on, man, motherfucker. My craft is half selling, okay? Why don't you, uh, take this time to, uh, huff my nuts, even, if you will. Perhaps. Set him up. Keep your guard up. I've got you to super interested. Close the deal. Buy my shit. Just as I'd intended. <laughs> Mint! Hi, Mint! I'm gonna sell- you're gonna give me so much money for this mint. You know how to make me sweat. Uh-oh. 5% stress? Okay, we're still good. Alright, let's shock for 17. Get some sympathy. Press the attack. Uh, scheme. I'm hoping I can close this out. Pump up. Keep your guard up. And close it out. Yeah, that should do. That'll get us to max interest. Hell yeah. 80% upsell. Thank you, Mint. Sorry, Mint. But hey, you know, you gotta take it. You gotta take him. Gotta take him for a ride when you can. Now, where did I put that dustpan? <gasps> wow, she. Blue hair? Cool, cool customer. Can I ha hang out in here for a minute? I'm trying to give somebody the slip. Yeah, of course. I'll put up my clothes sign and lock the door behind you. And that's good of you. Are you in some kind of trouble? Should I call the guard? It's nothing serious, just some guy with a camera and no respect for a person's privacy. But hey, this is a cool shop. I dig the whole vibe. 
Thanks, I'm Sylvia, and this is my place. Right on, Sylvia. Yo, Shakabra! I've always been so impressed by potion makers. That's a skill I just don't have. I'm guessing you're some kind of performer? You got the look. Guessed it in one. Yeah, I'm a bard. Yeah! Yeah! I'm about her! I'm about her! I've been playing at the Heroes Guild. It's the most fun I've had in ages. Demanding work, though. Heroes get rowdy between quests. Between that and staying one step ahead of nosy journalists. I'm practically asleep on my feet. Well, you're welcome to rest here as long as you need. I appreciate that, seriously. But it looks like the coast is clear out there. And I've got to get back to the guild hall before Breptise takes to the stage with an amateur ventriloquism routine. Thanks for letting me hide out. That was cool of you, Sylvia. Hope I'll see you around. I also hope I'll see you around! She was nice and clearly juggling too much. She was juggling, because she was a performer. Bet a mana potion be just to pick me up she needs. Unlock Zid? Expires and never? One free sample away from becoming a customer for life. One greater mana potion? Didn't I sell all my greater mana potions? Fuck! 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 God damn it! God damn it! I should have asked for her autograph. God damn it. Fuck! 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 <sighs> Come on. Come on. Come on, Zach. I should really learn that automated broom and mop spell. Sylvia, hi! I'm Luna. It's a real pleasure to meet you. I'm, uh, Penny's really into this character. Let's see what we got. That's the warmest welcome I've had in a long time. It's no less than you deserve. I mean, I saw you at the competition. The whole town did. Cool under pressure, knowledgeable and confident. I'm talking about you, FYI. But are you ready to seize the opportunities that your victory's bringing your way, hmm? Don't worry about the fact that there's Taylor Swift, okay? Don't worry about it. I sense a sales pitch. Ooh, intuitive too. You are the full package, Sylvia. I promise I won't keep you long. I'm here in my capacity as founder and sole proprietor of Rafter's newest, best, and boldest marketing agency. Now I know what you're thinking. Do I even need a marketing, Luna? I'm killing without resorting to your absurd tricks, Luna. Shut up about marketing and take a day off before you crash and burn, Luna. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I'm biased, I know, but I still think marketing is the right choice for your business. Raptor's economy is in constant flux. It's total chaos. At least it appears to be, but getting the right message out there at the right time. TLDR gives you an advantage. I would like to humbly suggest that you enjoy having one of those. That'd be a nice change of pace. Being the underdog gets old. I knew you'd see the sense in it. Selfie. Well, you certainly make a compelling pitch. Aw, oh, thanks. And he was selling anything should refine their elevator pitch, you know. Start strong and the sky's the limit. Elevator pitch. <laughs> Look at her. She's she's a gamer. Apply sympathy for one turn. Drawn in opening hand can only be played at start of transaction. Raise interest by four. Apply sympathy for one turn. That's a really good fucking card. I can see the wisdom in that. I know, right? So listen, come by my office soon. We'll take chaos in our hands. And we'll squeeze it and smother it and crush it, Sylvia. We'll crush it. It'll be fun, I promise. I love crushing and killing and violence. Cheer up in aisle 13, increase in merchant customers. Tunnel visionaries. Uh, heroes have increased loot drops in shadow step. Okay. Let's check our brews. Our brews should be done. You love Crush 40? I don't think Crush 40's... Oh, oh, right. You're making a joke about the, uh, uh, crushing it. Flawed brew. Okay. Perfect brew! What do I have in my inventory for potions? Yeah, I sold the greater mana potion. Damn it. Alright, time to make an even greater greater mana potion. Here we go. B. Big B. We need some big ass bees in this fucking potion. And now let's get some C's, some big ass C's, some C's to death.
There. Perfect. Excellent. With a perfect br blend, it will be two tiers up. It will advance to a greater potion. Darn it. I forgot to buy wood! I forgot to buy wood! That's what I forgot to buy yesterday! Damn it! Hey, there's that button for custom orders. Excellent. All right. Well, let's just get brewing with this. And now for this one. What's 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 hot today? Uh, nothing specific. I didn't have the money for it, but that's because I bought too many ingredients. Uh, let's get a health potion going. Just a standard ass health potion. Never a bad thing, you know? I'm out of, uh, hot bees. So maybe I should take one fewer of these, uh, hot A's and switch it in for... Oof. That'll do. That'll do. I don't need to be perfect. Alright. So, we're brewing some quick shit today. Uh, we've made a lot of sales yesterday. What do we have in terms of potions left over? Alright, there's our total stand. Uh, should I... I've got some good money. Let's travel. Uh, and, uh, do some shit. We gotta collect our, uh... We've got to collect shit. Luna! First things first, collect our resources from Mint. Second thing second, get our...
All right, let's only buy uh, one one mushroom, and then we'll go and buy another cauldron. I think that's something that I need to do. No, shelf. I was going to buy a good shelf. That was what I was going to do today. Five percent for tonics, five percent for enhancers, five percent for potions. I sell mostly potions. Thank you. All right, and we'll go to Quinn and uh, feed you some ingredients that I can buy better ingredients from you in the future. Have some gross bullshit. Cool, hand it over. Nice. Thanks, Quinn. All right, now I can hang out with somebody to rank up. Quinn's a little bit, uh, I've gone really far with Quinn. I've gotten like two. Uh, so we'll try and rank up with somebody else. All right, what do you think? Should I, should I hang out with Roxanne Vanilla? Is that what you want to see? Or, or w w what, who do you vote we hang out with? Cause we got one hangout session we could do today. One rank up. We're, 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 we can rank up Baptiste, Luna, Muktuk, uh, Roxanne. You want to hang out with Roxanne? Okay. And this ought to be good. As you can see, I've hit the ground running with my new enterprise, but cash flow is still a minor issue. Can't help me box up a few things for the pawn shop. Unless you'd rather just stand there and gawk. Silly helps Roxanne sort through a pile of junk. She has one la box labeled keep and one labeled sell. Roxanne is clearly unsentimental. Everything ends up in the sell box. There are men's trousers, a beard trimmer, a signet ring with a stylized letter O. Wait a minute! Is this my uncle's stuff you're planning to sell? Whatever gave you that idea? This broom polo trophy for most combative player has my uncle's name right on it. Well, now I see where you got your argumentative streak. Oh, whatever. It's not like I was using any of this. And I don't want to be tripping over Oswald's old junk any more than you do. I could certainly use a bit more elbow room down here. And yet I shouldn't like to get too comfortable. It's more than a little embarrassing, you know, running a business out of someone else's basement. Who cares what people think? If they judge you, it's more a reflection on them. Bravo, Sylvia, I dare say I agree with you. Although in our line of work, we do have to at least pretend to give a care. After all, the key to successful sale often comes down to making your customer feel welcome, wanted even. Butter them up with a bit of flattery and they'll open your wallets, believe me. Apply charm for one turn. <laughs> is, is, is that happening to you? Vanilla, do you have the debuff charmed? Yeah, I can do that, although it's a little bit manipulative, isn't it? Ah, you're, you're catching on! Who says you can't teach an old slob new tricks? <sighs> no one, literally no one says that. Regardless, I think you'll agree that such pearls of wisdom are worth a few square feet of basement. Not to mention the access you now have to enchantments. I'm quite skilled at the craft. And I assure you, this time around, the services I'm offering are legitimate. Tell me more. Why weren't you using these skills to begin with? Frankly, the margins on potion making are better. Enchanting requires a plethora of ingredients, usually rare ones. Whereas when you're making potions, you can simply throw any number of things into a pot. It might be true if you're making a fake potion. The real thing is more complicated than that. Sure, you know the difference. The average consumer, not so much. In fact, it's thanks to my talent for enchanting that I was able to fool so many for so long. My potions were little more than water and dyes, but the bottles that came in, ah. That's where the real magic was all along. So just imagine the results you could get combining my skills with your own. Go on, imagine it. I'll wait. You've won me over, hottie? Damn! They really let you beat down bad in this game, huh? So... Do I pick it? Do I pick it? I don't... I don't think I do. I think I pick, we'll see how it goes. Because I want to see... I want to meet that blue-haired character more, you know? We'll see how it goes. Enchantment's giving me the advantage out there. And take it from me, anything that gives you an edge is worth pursuing. It occurs to me that despite my better judgment for the time being, 
We're in this together. As long as I'm operating out of your basement, I will benefit from your success and vice versa. So let's pull all the nastiness away and try to get along, shall we? Yeah, I was never really that nasty, though, was I? Dear thing, if this arrangement is to have any chance of working, you really must stop setting up such tantalizing put-downs. Damn, she's just like... I wasn't that nasty. And Roxanne's just like... Bitch, stop making it so easy for me. I will tear you to shreds, please. Please. You smell. Your shit stank. You suck. Damn. Good luck, you'll need it. Eat my ass. Fucking Roxanne. I think our, all of our brews are still brewing. Yep, three, two, not done yet. One of them will be done by the end of this sales shift. But one of them, uh, first off, let's uh, upgrade our uh, potion shelf. There we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I can't put any cauldrons down here yet. Ugh, it's frustrating. Alright. Uh, let's do the deck builder. Let's trash the whole deck. I like set them up. One, two. Reel them in. One, two. Close it out. One, two, three. Um, that's really not so useful. Two is better than one. Duplicate a hand. Duplicate a card in your hand. Yes. Scheme. I'll take one of those. Shock factor. Press the attack. Plant the seed. Pump up. Med meditate's not so good. Elevator pitch. That's good. Uh, apply simply for one turn for one thing. Muscle memory. Good. Honestly, I'll take a couple of those. Anything that costs zero is a good card to have. Uh, sympathy. Oh, we're done. We'll see how this works. We'll see how this works. Okay. Um. Alright, arrange our potions. Make sure that the price is right. We'll just get people in the door with these. Okay. Kind of need to get back to brewing quickly with our wood. Uh, but luckily we have that now, so that's good. Alright. Come one, come all, and taste our delicious potions that make you, uh, gay. You have 14 patients. Shut the fuck up, man. Okay. Alright. Apply set him up. Muscle memory. I'll take the 10. But again, we're gonna end the turn until we can get some more interest going. Let's go. Plant the seed. Press the attack. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll reel him in twice. Oh, does it duplicate and add to the deck? It puts it into the deck. Ugh. I thought it would put it in my hand. That makes it a lot, that, that, that nerfs it a lot. I thought it was really, really good, but it's just kind of good. 
highly interested. That'll do. I'm just back from seeing the Kraken Skull. Can you believe the size of it? Need to be convinced? Then here. Oh, shut up. Tint is off by a shade. Muscle memory. Plant the seed. Now we're gonna have to... I want to wait until plant the seed uh, gets some more interest involved. It looks diluted to my eye. Shut the fuck up. All right. Captivate. Sympath sympathy. Set him up. Set him up. I have to close the deal. Okay. Shame. Ran out of patience, but it's fine. Oh, Muktuk! Hey, Muktuk! What's going on, Muktuk? Greater Thunder Tonics. And you need two of them. We'll try. We'll try. I don't know if I can do that. But yeah, let's elevator pitch. Captivate. And pump up. Unfortunately, the sympathy is going to run up before I have a chance to actually apply an interest card. I have to draw a stress card now. Uh, but let's set him up. Muscle memory. Press the attack. Ooh, that's no good. Uh, hopefully next turn we get a uh, close the deal. Ooh, we got we got some stress. This is kind of stressful. All right, muscle memory. Reel them in and close it out. That'll get us to the next tier. That's decent sale. Decent sale. There we go. I would shake your hand, but I'm afraid I might crush it! Alright, we got uh, some good- some good interest there. Let's do this next turn. I didn't realize how much I was relying on the, on the shields. The the combo shields. Reel them in. Closing them out won't now wouldn't uh, it increase the interest in the next tier, so it's not worth it. I'm going to keep on pushing. Next hand. Discount bin. How dare you? Do I have any close it outs left in my deck? I do. I have one. So in that case, we'll captivate. I'll end the turn. And that and hopefully we draw a close it out. Yes. Oh, I can also captivate. Uh ooh, shock factor? Close it out? Real them in, close it out. 7 and 9 versus uh, 10 and 25% less. Uh, we'll take the real them in. We won't shock them. But... We, that, I, I think we did as good as we could have there. Alright. One turn in, we're very interested. I thought the potions would be super cheap. Damn. That does hurt. That does suck. Uh, let's, let's duplicate closing out. Draw another card. Press the attack. Ah, cool. I've got the duplicated close it out. Uh, I only have one patience after this. So, we'll close it out. Just get to the next rank and call it a day. 
got four hearts out of it. That's basically... It's as good as we're gonna get for the time being, I'll say. All right? It's not too good, not too bad. Pretty middle of the road. All right, one of my brews is done, and that means I can start a new brew. What am I brewing right now? That's the, that's the mana potion that will become the greater mana potion. So let's try and get that, uh, that uh, thunder potion for uh, Muktuk. Thunder Tonic. Greater quality Thunder Tonic with uh, good sensibility or good taste, good mouthfeel, whatever, whatever that one actually stands for. B. And D. Nothing I have has good taste. Darn. Uh, and also this is only gonna be a common thunder tonic. In which case, let's not do the thunder tonic today. Let's do something with red. I've got some good reds. What ingredients have I gotten? I got like, uh, this fairy flower bud would be pretty good. So let's find something. That, that was one of the reds I was looking at. So let's... Something with A Magimins. Ice tonic? Yeah, sure. Let's try to make a good ice tonic. A. A and D. And A. And then D. That's pretty good. Is there any way I can make it better though? Okay. Uh, ta 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 ta. Perfect. All right. This will be a five-star common ice tonic, and it has a chance to become a a, a, a next tier uh, common a, a greater ice tonic. Okay, so let's put some wood in the fire. Uh, it'll brew four tonight. Okay. I didn't start it again. Oof, woof. I need to stop getting so uh, upset at that. I was talking with a friend of mine, and I was discussing like. Some of the things that aren't super fun that we run into just through, you know, experimenting and stuff like that. It's just like some of these things would be really clear in other management games. Like, you know, you can't leave while a potion isn't brewing. Uh, you Like, it'll ask you to confirm stuff like that. It's some, it's some very small quality of life things that I wish would, were implemented, but it's still quality of life, you know? All right, let's take all these things off the shelves. I don't have that many things to sell. I only have six potions total and six slots to go. And I've got some money, so let's go out and buy a better cauldron? Hmm? I've got, I've got room for a better, better cauldron. Uh, let's go out and travel about and see what we can get at the very least. Mint, what? How, how'd the uh, how'd the slaying go? The more storm clouds overhead, the more silver lines you can see. 
Ooh, buddy, look at these things. Fancy, fancy. A dollop of just straight copper. It's a copper slime, neat. Spriggan antler, 40C. 30A, jeez Louise. Ah, you need ice to cover that. Uh, you need sleepy to cover that. Uh, and I don't have mana to give you, so... Your mana's still only three. You're only gonna be able to get three through. So it's better to just get some small equipment stuff. Uh... Without spending too much money. Yeah. Well, you just did the bone waste. Let's let's do the mushroom mire. Yeah. I can I can I can bear spending 50 gold sending you to the mires. Uh, let's get to the carpentry shop and see if I can upgrade anything there. Maybe get some more shelves, get another cauldron spot. Ooh, level 2 basement cauldron available. 600, 4,000, 2,500. Okay, got it. Ow! My wallet! 600 is pretty reasonable, though. I just have to wait for, like, a good uh, time to do it. What about you, Muktuk? I can get the better cauldron from you while we're, while we're out and about. So I have two good cauldrons. I've never really run into the issue of having too many Magimans in with too few ingredients. It's usually like the very last one. So I'm gonna just get another Ocean Cauldron for the time being. It's a pretty good upgrade, but I don't need it. All right. Can you have, do you want some more slime? Here's some slime. Uh, Baptiste's quest isn't done yet. I'm not gonna do any, uh, any marketing right now. It's kind of late in the day for marketing. Let's uh, buy some ingredients, I suppose. In the meantime, I also uh, give a gift to uh, to Quinn. I can get used to this. Luckily, all of these I have multiples of. Mm. Nice. I know they're the best ingredients in town. I keep buying them. What do we have? Uh, what do I need? I think I need B, which is these toadstool mushrooms. Are there any other better bees? Ah, the bog beets, right. I have three of these swap octopuses left. I want to get at least a handful of these really good dwarf krakens. Uh, let's get one of these feathers. I want things with high quantities of uh, magimins. Yeah, yeah, okay, that'll do. Now, who do I hang out with? That's the real question. Who do I rank up now that I've ranked up with, um, with Roxanne once? I've already hung out with Roxanne. I can hang out with Luna. Can I hang out with Saffron? I don't think I can.
Hmm. I can't hang out with Saffron. Let's hang out with Saffron. Stay as long as you like. I'm making slow but steady progress in a jigsaw puzzle. Would you care to pitch in? Saffron has laid out the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle on top of a tree stump. She already has the border of the puzzle completed. Based on the frame alone, Sylvia can't tell what image the puzzle will make. Is it just me or does every piece look the same? Well, it's an image of foliage, so the entire puzzle is green. But green contains multitudes. Look closer and you'll see fern green, sage, juniper, moss. Success will require us to be mindful of the subtle variations. She thinks she spots a match. She takes up a piece. She describe it as booger green. It doesn't fit. Or maybe it does almost. She pushes harder. Maybe it's a slight manufacturing flaw. She slams the piece repeatedly with her gloved fist. Ha! Got it! Yes, that's quite a technique you have. Maybe I should get you a hammer. I don't want to make too much noise. It's so quiet out here. So calm. But it must get lonely sometimes. I wouldn't say that. In fact, I very much enjoy the peace and the quiet. And I keep busy. For instance, I spent most of the morning putting a bridge together. You made a whole bridge this morning? Well, sure. Lately, the Heroes Guild is sending all sorts of greenhorns out into the forest. Well-placed footbridge ensures they stay on the path, which is safer for them. And safer for the forest, too. But I don't mean it as a jab when I say I enjoy the quiet. I like solitude, but I like your company, too. The feeling's very mutual. I'm not just here for the kindling, you know. That's right. After all, what good is kindling without a spark, hmm? Oh, that was the romance option. I kind of, I, it was like a 50-50 if it was gonna be, but hey, you know. But I'm curious about something. You asked me if it gets lonely out here. Let me turn your question around on you. Doesn't the hustle of the bustle of the town ever wear you down? Sure, a little bit. No, hmm, for me personally, I think I like the city. I thrive on it. The energy and the noise make me feel alive. Well, we're very different people in that respect. And it's worth keeping in mind that some of your customers are probably feeling overwhelmed by all the stimulation. With a soothing voice and a calm demeanor, you can make your shop an island of tranquility in the raging sea of life. Help guide their thoughts through the storm, and I bet you, I'll bet you'll see the results. Guided thought. Raise interest by five, decrease stress by one. That's a good card. That's a damn good card. I can be the picture, perfect picture of placidness. Watch me. I believe it. In fact, I believe you can be anything you set your mind to. Now, have you seen a pine green piece with three Audis in a socket? It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, I sorry. I hammered it with my fists. I hammered it together with my fists. All right, time to go home. Did some good shit. And then tomorrow morning, I'll be able to get Zid. I wonder what rich people do at night. The pro answer is probably not sweeping. Have you heard what people are saying about Corsac? That he's recognized my superiority and wants to drop out of the competition? Not quite. They're saying he single-handedly wrestled a sandworm into submission, then surgically removed its vestigial heart before releasing it back into the wild. Wow. There's more. The next day, he stalked his cyclopean back hair back to its burrow, where he sung it into a deep sleep so deep he was able to remove three cavity-ridden teeth while it slept. The hair had been attacking travelers, but liberated from tooth decay, it's now docile as could be. In summary, he's strong, he's brave, and he never takes a life unless he has to. He doesn't even pluck a flower unless he can plant two seeds to take its place. Well, that's great. In fact, it gives me an idea. You want to watch the counter while I go wrestle sandworms? I hope you jest. Oh, I jest real hard. There's no way I can hunt down my own ingredients. Perhaps not, but there are avenues you've yet to explore. I wouldn't admit this to just anyone, but... I do maintain some of my shadier contacts, including a pair of merchants with wares you can't find anywhere else. And if they happen to sell those wares to an interested consumer directly from the docks, then they are able to avoid Rafter's rather tedious import taxes and pass the savings on to you. Hmm. You're talking about smuggling. Well, they are pirates, darling. You should go and meet them before passing judgment. Look for salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, I know them. I've seen those in the trailers. I'm sure a clever thing like you will be able to discern who is who. Hmm. 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 I didn't understand half of what Luna said. Fucking acronyms and being a gamer. I hate games. Especially video games named Potionomics. They're cringe. I could swear I just cleaned these floors. It's your lucky day, Sylvia. Your sad, solitary spinsterhood is finally at an end. I'm not any of those things. You know that, right? Fine, but I think we can agree that this shop needs some more life. And I've got just the thing. I found a rescue animal, and I think a shop would be, be her perfect forever home. What, really? I don't know, Quinn. I've already got owl lurking around here somewhere, and there's so much on my plate right now. Well, I can't keep her. Boxer's too territorial. Besides, it's sort of a done deal. I already set her up outside. 
and I don't think you'll have much luck moving her. For a mimic, Vendi is a big girl. Oh, Vendi? Vendi as a mimic? Oh. I've never had a mimic before. Mimics are the best. They're territorial, mostly stationary, surprisingly vicious. But even by mimic standards, Vendi is especially awesome. She's basically a vending machine with teeth. A vending machine could be useful. Yeah, no kidding. You've only got so many shelves. You want to make some room? Sell a potion at a fixed price? Skip all the hassle? You just put that potion in Vendi, sit back and relax. Okay, you've won me over, but I'm putting Vendi to work. That's good. She was born for this kind of work. I've never seen a mimic so unlikely to dismember someone. I hope you're right about that. Yeah, well, maybe keep an eye out for fingernails in her droppings, just to be sure. Hmm. Hmm. Vendi, the vending machine mimic. The ocean coasts are being regulated. Over-harvesting concerns. Okay, that was me over-harvesting the oceans. Here's an outlet. Temporary limited in how much they can take from the area. Ocean coast ingredients cost more. Weaker monsters. Decreased loot drops. The Hunter's Visible v Festival. Nice. Increased value for tonics. Shadow Step has increased loot drops. Fruit, plant... Uh, fruits are more expensive, and planting slimes are less expensive. Okay. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, greater mana potion. Yeah, common ice tonic. Greater ice tonic, nice! I'm gonna keep one of those just in case. It's not list. It's not good enough to be one of the requirements, but I was kind of able to beat Roxanne kind of easily, so I'm not too worried this time around. Now let's return, and I can um, turn in the thing and customize and get the uh, uh, the cauldron up. Cauldron. All right, cool. Uh, let's check out the, uh, the the wall thing, yeah. Hmm. What do we think about... I, I like the stucco wall more. Have a mana potion! Yes, 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 yes! So many feathers. I wonder if owls ever go bald. She arrives in a coffin. Sylvia, you are one talented witch. Whoa, where'd you come from? I'm traveling in style these days. Makes it easier to avoid nosy journals without having to duck into random shops. But I'm awfully glad I ducked, ducked into yours. The potion you sent me was out of this world. Glad you liked it. Did I ever? My vocal cords are still thrumming with energy. I even mesmerized a heckler in the middle of my set. I feel like I could take on a monster. Maybe you should put that to the test. I hear the guild is recruiting. And you think I have what it takes to go out there and be a hero? I'm not sure. Making music is my calling. It's who I am. I love her fucking theme! But I'll admit the idea has me intrigued. I'm Zid, by the way. I should have introduced myself before. Nice to meet you officially, Zid. Although, I suddenly can't shake the feeling that I know you from somewhere. Well, you might actually. My stage name is Zidriel. Wait, no! Are you the Zidriel superstar singer Zidriel? One and the same, but keep it under wraps if you don't mind. I'm trying to keep a lower profile these days. You're doing a good job. I don't think I ever would have seen through your disguise. Funny thing of this look is a disguise. This is the real me. From my point of view, Zidriel feels more like the disguise. My usual look is calculated for mass appeal. Bottle blonde hair, lip gloss, and a very reasonable number of piercings. LOL! LOL! Turns out, left to my own devices, I got a freak flag that needs to be flown. You like girls! The fact that people don't recognize me is a nice bonus. And the guy you were avoiding the other day. A paparazzo chasing a rumor. Thanks to you, he didn't get a good look at me. So for now, I'm flying under the radar. I got the enjoyment of playing music for the Heroes Guild. Without the pressure that comes from being known, I guess. Well, your secret's safe with me. I had a feeling, Sylvia. You just got one of those faces. And your gift was so thoughtful. I didn't like the idea of lying to you after that. You should come by the guild hall sometime. We can hang out. 
Yeah? Yeah? Until then, bye! Oh, her fucking coffin has like guitar band sticker logos pasted on it. Fuck, I love her. Fuck, that's awesome. Hell yeah. All right, back to brewing. Back to doing our jobs. Ugh. All right, T. Let's try again for a speed potion. Uh, C and D. Anything that has both? No. But we will just get a little bit more C. Maybe a lot more C. Now a little bit more C. Darn. I couldn't get it uh, up to... Um, being better than nothing. Unfortunately, this is really the only thing that would uh, qualify. Uh, let's see. I could get the spring and antler. I could put this in for some E. Ooh, this is guaranteed already? This is a good, uh, good mix. Let's put in something big for C. And then put in something big for D. Yeah, there we go. Chance of gaining one additional star on completion. <sighs> I wish I could get a little bit more, but uh, that, that's fine. This is good. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of wood to get this fucker to brew in only two. And even then, it's not enough. Dang. Oh, well, that's because I'm not using mushrooms or cactus. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Zid is really cool? Yeah. Yeah, they fucking are. All right. What do you think of this peace symbol? All right. Uh, greater speed potion with the chance of becoming a two-star greater speed potion. I wish I could get it to a three-star right now, but I don't have the ingredients for it. So just brew it like that. Uh, let's try for the Sight Enhancer now. Okay. This would be good for here. Get some good bees in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bog beats. Now let's get some good C. Ooh. Okay. All right. Oh shit, this sight enhancer is bomb as hell. How many would I need? I, 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 there's no way I can make it uh, better than just stable, cause I only have 11 more Magimin that I can put in. So 
This will just get it to a four star with a chance of gaining another star. Yeah, this is a bomb ass potion. Hell yeah. All right, Greater Sight Enhancer completed. Potion, uh, ready for the fucking competition. All right. Thank God for uh, um, the wood that we get from uh, Saffron. It's really useful. All right. I don't have any money. Honestly, yeah. Tonics sell good today. So let's get these common thunder tonics out of our inventory. Uh, I'm probably not going to be sending mint out to do poison stuff again in the near future. But let's sell one of these greater ice tonics. Just because tonics are selling so well today. It's just not really like tenable to not sell them, you know? Okay. All right, we'll keep the mana potions on hand in case I need them, and, I'm, and I might. Uh, yep, good shit. Let's sell. Let's also deck build. <sighs> oh, look at her fucking render. She's so cool. Oh, I didn't notice these uh, social links were listed here in the deck builder. Set him up, reel him in, close him out, three. I'm not gonna brace myself because I feel like I've got better cards to do that with. I like plant the seed, but the issue is I don't think I've actually ever had a customer last more than three turns. It's good for competitions, I think. But press the attack is pretty good. I think I'm gonna avoid shock factor for the time being. Pump it up is pretty good. You should go for now, but to watch the rest of the VOD later. All right, bye, Vanilla. Bye. Say bye. I'll, I'll say hi to Roxanne for you. Okay. I'll 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 be a, I'll be a good wingman. This one's good. This elevator pitch is really good. Uh, sleight of hand, raise interest by ten. Apply distracted for one turn. What does distracted do? Mask the potion's bad traits. Oh for one turn, and what does a charm to do? Temporarily increase price of potions by 15%. It's good, but I think that's not good enough for a, <clears throat> a, a two patients uh, fucking card. Captivate's good. Muscle memory is good. Don't have any cards for you yet. Um, keep your guard up. And sympathy? Yeah, good. All right. All right, open sesame. Come on in, everybody. I couldn't put any potions in Vendi because I don't have any extras that I'm willing to sell for a flat rate. Another day, another coin, right? Let's make a deal, but let's best be quick about it. You'll be hearing from your assistant. Oh, no. All right. Hopefully I can. Uh... Yeah, let's guided thought and then close it out. That, that'll work. That'll be useful. Because I don't have the patience to do anything else, really. Doesn't get me up to the next tier, but I got the 5% bonus from closing it out. That's good. Thanks for your business. Muktuk! Hey! Here's the elevator pitch. I'm gonna scheme. Press the attack. Guided thought. Reel him in. Mmm. Ah, we'll close it out, sure. Muktuk's my friend. I don't want to sell him, uh, 
I don't want to. And besides, this potion's not really too much, too worth it to go any further with. Nice. Thanks, passionate hero. I'm going into battle, and I need your strongest potion. You can't handle my strongest potion. And what if I get all the way out there and it doesn't work? I can win you over. I can. I've got nine, nine percent, nine turns to win you over. Oh darn! I draw. I I didn't know you could draw a stress card, um, via just like drawing a card. Hmm. My life is in your hands, potion seller. Sympathy, muscle memory, muscle memory, reel them in, and let's close the deal before I get too much more stressed. What a pleasant outcome. It's a nice cauldron. I guess business is good. Muscle memory, reel them in. And turn. I know you're gonna hit me with two stress. I know, I know, I know. It sucks, but I didn't have any cards that granted shield. So let's captivate you. Plant the seed. Press the attack. Press the attack. Muscle memory. All right. Oh, if I close it out now, I can do it. It'll be good. I get max interest. 73% upsell. Nice. Hmm. A greater mana potion and a greater stamina potion. I don't know how to make that. I'm sorry. I won't hold it against you. I can feel the magic coming off this one, though. You got 11 patience. I can work with that. I don't need to open with uh, Captivate, because you've got a lot of patience. Sorry about my stress, though. Woof. Yeah, it is whenever a card is drawn, huh? I've got to, I've got to wait for the uh, plant the seed to take effect. I've got patience for it, and I've got the cards for it. it my only worry is the stress. It's fine. All right. Okay. Good. Set it up. Press the attack. Muscle memory. Keep your guard up. Reel them in. I'm totally blown away. Oh, I should have closed it out. I, I wasn't, I didn't know that uh, at the mux, at, at the max interest, I saw mux token, I said mux. At the max interest level, they just buy it. So it's best to close it out when they buy it. Okay. This tonic's gonna suck a little bit. Oh boy. Ha yeah, boy. Alright, muscle memory. Guided thought, reduce my stress a little bit. Am I gonna close it out at a three star for Muck Tuck? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get I could, but I think it's just worth it to get this plus 17 uh, and get the 5% bonus. All right, that was good. Good sales. We've also got some bomb ass potions. Let's go. Uh, this time we'll travel, buy some ingredients, and brew some more stuff before the end of uh, this shift. Greater speed potion. Okay, good. Not great, but good, you know. Super awesome sight potion. Oh, five star greater sight enhancer. Hell yeah. I got an achievement potion maker. Hell yeah. All right. Um, I suppose, uh, technically if I want to run the dice, uh, if I want to roll the dice on my shittier potions, I'm good. 
Like, I don't know why I backed out of the brewing menu just to look at my potions in the in the inventory. But, well, the ice tonic I sold them all. No, they're just uh, they're just out here, right? Right. So, in terms of the potions that I currently have, I've got a zero star greater ice tonic, a five star greater sight enhancer, and a four star and a one star greater speed potion. Uh, it's recommended that I get them up to three stars, but I really think that I'll be good without. So, if I wanted to, I could just arrange the potions. One, two, three. Nope. Uh, three. Call it a day and get back to brewing some other things like health potions and mana potions. And honestly, I might just do that. One eighty three. Okay. And I'll sell that. That's good. I hope I don't have any custom orders that need those thunder tonics, right? Um all right, let's make some Thunder Tonics. Let's see what we can do for that. Uh, but... I don't think I'll be able to make any good Thunder Tonics with the ingredients that I currently have, so I'll... Brew... something? Let's see, BD. Yeah, I don't have anything that will be- that could be added that would add both B and D. Uh... I've got that, and I've got, uh... That, and that's really it. It's very stable. I get one star, there's a chance that I get a tier up. But it also doesn't have the, uh, the taste good that, uh, he wants. Uh, but, meh. I, I, I would still like to have those Thunder Tonics. No, wait, I already beat the Thunder Planes, right? Since it doesn't have the thing that he needs. I'll try making it. I'll still try making it. I'll still try. Uh, I'd really rather it not be an overnight brew, so we'll we'll brew it like that. Now let's get some health potions. We need some more, and that's simple because it's just A and B. Do I have a 12 for A? I've got a 40 for A, Jesus. It seems like B is kind of my, uh, one that I don't have enough of. There, that's perfect. I could put in this, but it wouldn't increase the uh, thing to another star, and it would remove the ability to, like, get more shit out of it. Well, this is going to be an overnight brew anyways, so let's not waste the wood material on it, and we'll get two extra stars and possibly a four-star greater health potion, which will be bomb as shit. All right. 
Now let's get out and about and get some more ingredients. We got some good money today. We've got enough money to go get more brewing. Uh, should I do that though? I could just open up shop again. I'm kind of stressed. Let's 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 go and leave so that we hang out and uh, get less stressed. Yes, Zid, the bardic hero. Fuck yeah! I forgot that we're gonna hang out with them. Hey, Zid. How's it? What's what's hanging? How you doing? All right. Hey, Sylvia. You found me. I was hoping you would, cause I got news. Big news. Momentous, life-changing news. How's that for hype? My manager would be so proud. I'm definitely curious. I'll cut right to it. I've been thinking about how supercharged I was on your potion, about how you said that I might have what it takes to be a hero. So I decided to give it a shot. I've officially joined the Heroes Guild. Hmm. I think you'll have more fun. You'll have more fun as a hero. Fighting monsters sounds way more exciting than performing in a guild hall. Well, hold on. I'm not hanging up my instrument or anything. The heroing is more of a side gig. It might seem completely disconnected from my music career, but that's not really true. All the most popular songs are about heroic exploits, after all. You have to figure out that having you have to figure that having a few exploits of my own will help me connect with the material, help me sell the emotion behind it. What about romantic exploits? Any plans there? Well, I'm single at the moment. Guess I'll have to see who catches my eye, won't I? Assuming I have time for that sort of thing. Banter aside, I've got to keep my skills sharp. Baptiste still wants me playing here as much as possible, and it took some work to convince him that I could swing both responsibilities at once. How'd you win him over? Same as always, I made, him, I made my case in the form of a song. The guild's got a singer, a real go-getter. Her shows are great, but they'd be better if she were a hero. So come on, won't you let her? She's epid. She's so epid. Once he started humming that to himself, I knew I had him. Maybe that's a lesson you can use. The surest way to win people over is with a little jingle. Apply jingle! <laughs> a little jingle. I'll keep it in my mind I'll keep it in mind during my own song and dance. Good. After all, merchants are performers too. At least the good ones are. I'm glad you dropped in on me, Sylvia, and I hope you'll keep me in mind for all your heroing needs. I'm green, but I'm eager. Oh, and I'm affordable too. Now that's music to my ears. Shakabra. Would you like, perchance, a slime? I kind of dig it. Hmm. I'm going to have to actually figure out what you want. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's have a picnic? I can have a picnic with her? Let's have a picnic. That's my hangout session for today. I know I can rank up other people, but fuck that. I'm having a picnic with her. Let's put a unique spin on this. Sylvia and Zid travel to the beach, where most townsfolk give the Kraken Skull a wide berth, as if it might be cursed. Zid, however, walks right up to the skull and throws a picnic blanket on top. She's packed a delightful assortment of cheeses and fruits and generous slices of cake she liberated from the guild hall. It's unusual as picnics, picnics go, but that just means it'll be more memorable. Pretty sure I got a bone shard in my butt. Worth it! Sylvia feels a little closer to Zid and mildly less stressed. Fuck yeah! How's, how much is mildly? I kind of need a lot of uh, stress relief right now. 5%? I'll take it. That's good. All right, so unfortunately, adventure time. It sounds good to me with my friends. We're going to very... Oh, you're level seven, Jesus. What the fuck? What potions do I have to give you? Greater sight, speed potion. Ooh, the speed potion is not useful at all. I've never needed uh, to... Uh, Okay, so you are low on health, but high on mana. You could get through this all the way if you had more health. And you have a higher tolerance, and you can carry more equipment. No, oh, you have more tolerance because you can carry more shit, but you have a lower loot capacity than Mint does, because she's a tank. Okay, all right. Unfortunately, I don't have any health potions at the moment. That means I'm going to send you to the Enchanted Forest. Unfortunately, you know.
Maybe you can go to the Shadow Step. It's got better loot. Maybe it's weaker. Nope. Okay. What about the Mushroom Mire? You got one. What about the Bone Waste? You got one. All right. No! Damn it! I hit the wrong button. Well, sorry, Zid. <sighs> I know, I know. I didn't give you enough. Ooh, but these are some good fucking, uh, that's some good fucking shit. Where should you go today? Actually, let me back up and give you some slime. Do you want some slime? Here's some slime. Ooh, so nice! You love slime. Everybody loves slime. And I say everybody loves slime because I don't think, I'm not stopping giving people slime. I don't have health potions to spare. Honestly, take this mana potion uh, and uh, defeat all the enemies here. And uh, we'll be good. Hammer time! It is. It is hammer time. Baptiste, uh, what's good? Uh, Nasty pheromones, good. Giant stool mushroom, great. And malachite ore, pretty good. Uh, what do you think about uh, plants? It's nice enough, you don't like plants. You probably like gems, you fucking asshole. Nasty uh, fire flower, good. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll just get that, because I want to save my money for uh, upgrades and shit. Now tank, let's let's meet Salt and Pepper. Hmm. I think my face tracking is a little bit delayed. A little bit. Let me try closing the app and starting it up again. I don't use uh, iPhone all that much. I don't use it at all except for... Um... Except for VTubing stuff. I don't even know how to open up recent apps. Nope. There we go, I sort of have to hold it. That's right. There we go, all right. Eye facial motion cap. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that, that that's smoother, that's way smoother. There we go, okay. I think this is the right place. A vest and such, who goes there? Meow, 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 meow. Oh, hi, I'm Sylvia. I was looking for salt and pepper. I'm guessing that's you two. What gave it away? Welcome to our Emporium, Sylvia. Yeah, Emporium, otherwise known as that stack of crates at the end of the dock. Now, can we interest you in a treasure chest? We find them all over the place, and each one is guaranteed to contain contents. I'll consider it, but I was hoping to get to know you first. Get to know us, and why is that exactly? Are you undercover for the town guard? If you are, you have to tell us. It's the law. What? No, I'm just curious. Oh yeah, you know what they say about curiosity. That it killed the cat? What? No, jeez, what kind of expression is that? Curiosity is annoying, that's what they say. Be nice, Salt. I'm being nice, aren't I being nice? Nice is no fun. I can handle a bit of attitude. Well, all right then, rare imports and attitude. You came to the right place. But between you and me, lady, don't get, don't go tugging Pepper's tail or anything. He's a beast, that one. Thanks for the tip. Now keep an eye on him. What, now you got eye patch jokes? What? No, I... Nah, I'm just pulling your tail. Anyway, Pepper and I, we make a good team. When he goes on the attack, I watch our flank. When I've got my claws out, he's got my back. You never know what you're gonna get till you get it. 
Strike or strike later. <laughs> it striking is always always the answer, but it's either now or later. Ooh. Raise interest by 11 or gain 5 shield. It's pretty good. Hey, versatility is not a bad thing. Just don't talk to yourself if you can help. It makes people uncomfortable. Anyway, we should wrap this up. This ship won't run itself and Pepper gets cranky if mealtime's late. You wouldn't like me when I'm hungry. Uh, have a fruit. Your tribute is acceptable. You should like fruit way more, considering you're pirates. If I get this, I can't get the cauldron upgrade. But I need more ingredients than I need the cauldron right now. Hmm, I'll take that action. Nice. Phantom Palm is good. And Ocean Coast Wall. Hey, how about that? That's good. That's good as hell. All right, I already hung out with Sid, uh, Zid today, so uh, I can't do much else. Uh, I think I shopped first today, so that means that uh, uh, Baptiste's might... I, I haven't invested. I did invest already. Okay. I sent Mint and Zid out. Uh, Roxanne, I'm not going to talk to. Uh, Luna, I'm not going to talk to. So, over to Quinn, my best friend. Let me do my thing. All right, cool. Ooh. Right, fruits are cheap today. Uh, plants and slime are cheap today. Fruits are not cheap. Hmm. Should I go in on these? Sure, why not? They help increase the quality rather quickly. And these are just fucking good. Great source of red. Fairy flower bloom, bloom great source of red. This is a little bit too hard to actually use. This is a good source of C. Yes, 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 yes. N yes. Eh, what are you? Ooh, witch bramble. Uh, 40 times 4 would be 160. I have enough to put one in a thing, uh, but uh, I don't know if it's really worth it. So I simply shan't. Let's buy some of this B. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, do I have any more uh, D related ingredients? I don't think that I have that many. I think I used all of them. So let's buy some glass ore. Much as I can. I've already tried giving you flesh and you were alright about it. Um, I think you like slime. But what do you think about flowers? Eh, flowers are fine. You don't like flowers. I kind of figured about as much. Uh, but, all in all, good day of shopping for ingredients. Let's go home. Let's sell some shit. Let's brew some shit. How's my brewing? Are they both going to be brewing overnight? I don't remember. <sighs> Common thunder tonic. Uh, let's try again on an ice tonic. A and D. Ooh, these moss berries are good for D. Alright, 74D means I need 74A as well. Eh, 
let's see, chance of gaining one additional star. I think I can afford something that does that adds both, like the copper dollop. Unstable chance of losing a star on completion. But that chance is kind of worth it, considering everything. Like it will get to three stars, no matter. Most likely, not no matter what, but most likely it will get to three stars. There we go, and it'll brew overnight perfectly. Here's hoping, and also get four of them, and they'll be at uh, probably 288. It's good money, if it's not going to be good enough for the contest. Okay. Now let's... Deck builder, right. I wanted to get the jingle. The jingle's great. Uh, let's get rid of scheme. I can just wait till the next turn. But jingle's great. Open sesame. Come one, come all. Uh, drink my shit. Health potion, mana potion. With, uh, this trait. Of sensibility, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I can make those. Alright. Good shit. We've got two sympathies left. So we end the turn. I've got... This is the last one. You're down to one uh, patience. Oh, never mind. Captivate. Raise interest by 15. And then close it out. I could have reduced my stress by one, but I think it's fine as is. Oof. I've never had two stress cards at once. So that's not great. Ah, uh, come on. No stress, no stress. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Reduce stress, increase interest. I've got reel them in up. All right, you're just gonna lose one patience. You're not gonna inflict any more stress. So let's end the turn. Hope we get to close it out. Yeah, that's a good plan. Did I die in the wilderness? Is this purgatory? I know you're upset, man, but come on. All right, I can... Do I have any more Captivates in the deck? I do. I've got two Captivates in the deck. So I can try drawing the- pressing the attack. Yeah, well, didn't work. I got five interest out of it though, so that's good. We'll- we'll close it out now. Elevator pitch. Press the attack. Captivate. Reel them in. Got some good shit. It's one of my finest potions. It is one of our finest potions. Ugh, three stress. Ugh. Gonna be starting the day tomorrow with, like, so much stress. I can plant the seed and end the turn. And I'll get eight, and I'll have a chance to pull a close it out next turn.
You've made me fuming. Jeez. Well, uh, I got I got some uh, good cards, but I didn't get to close the deal. Oh well. <gasps> Sid! 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 Hi, Sid. The hour's late, but my day's just started. This potion's got real stage presence. Well, would you like an elevator pitch? And would you like some guided thought so that I can get some stress relief? Beginning to like this tune. This is this is one of our better potions. So we'll end the turn. Man, I should really be getting back to the guild hall. I know, I know, I know. Muscle memory. Pump up. Reel them in. Uh, let's reel them in and close the deal. Get two hearts. Yeah, that'll that'll do. Thanks, Zid. I'll tell everyone it's true. Thanks for your business. Man, we're selling a lot of things. Fire tonic, ice tonic. <sighs> Making them smell good is gonna be hard. Will the world die by fire or ice? Best to prepare for either. Um... Common? Common I can do. Common I can do. Shame about the stress, but, uh, I need a better sale than this. 15% is not bad, but I could do more. I could do better. I just really need to get some my stress down. Yeah, this shield will be nice. Because you're, you're dealing four stress. Oh yeah, yeah. But I managed to avoid a good amount of stress. I'm not going to plant the seed. I don't think I have time for it. Yep. Okay. Raise interest. Pump it up. Close it out. Man, it actually took takes like a lot of interest to get the picky professional to the next tier. Ugh, I know, okay, listen. I know I'm stressed out, okay? Is it safe for turtles? My turtles get into everything. I don't know about that. I've never fed a potion to a turtle. Muscle memory. Guided thought, reduce my stress by one. Reel them in. Uh, I close it out, I get an extra thing, but devalue and complain. We'll just close it out and get... Don't have to deal with the complaining. I think we sold every potion. I think that was an entirely... That was a six potion sale day. I'm steering clear of that vending machine's teeth. Jesus. Two, uh, like, hella profits. Shit's awesome. No mere bats, uh, bugs cost more, gems and fish cost less, uh, ice tonics, uh, increase value for drowsiness cures, and stronger and better loots at the ocean coast. Okay, good. I think I was tr planning to go to the ocean coast. And then the Hunter's Festival again. Good shit. I have. I have started crafting my winning potions. Thank you for asking. In fact, here are some winning potions right fucking here, you son of a bitch. Ah, dip. Well, that's fine. I can sell them at least. Four star greater health potion. That's what I'm fucking talking about. All right. Um, let's see. What custom orders can I really work with? Thunder Tonics, the one that's coming up soonest. But I can't make it that will actually increase. I, I can't make a good one. Like, this is the common one. That's the best I can do. 
and it also tastes like shit or it has bad tongue taste and that's the one thing he wants in the, in its trait so we're gonna have to deny muktuk's request uh greater health potion and mana potion oh i can just turn that in now can't i okay and i will still brew some more mana potions they both have the good trait great excellent All right, fire and ice tonic. I got four of these ice tonics. So let's make a fire tonic. A and C, got it. space left. Yeah, I don't have enough space left. Um, I've only got four Magimans left of space. I could have sworn I had one that was four. Must have been something, yeah, like this. But unfortunately, I don't need any B. I need A or D. A or C. And unfortunately, none of the A or C that I have is only four total Magimans. So, alas, we must toil with this brew. And no fuel. Have to go buy some more fuel. Um, we should also make some more mana potions. Give it a good flavor? Nah, it's fine. Oof. I actually don't have... I mean, it's only this, really. Uh, anything for 12? Eh, that's the closest I can do. It'll make... It'll, it'll still stay very stable. Okay. That'll brew for five. Yeah, I need more... I need more better ingredients for... Alright, this is a good time to check... My inventory. I can't check my inventory if I'm not actively brewing. But I like using the filtering system here. Ugh. Using the filtering system would really help me determine which ingredients I have and what the measurements for them are. But because I have two full cauldrons, I can't do that. That's frustrating. All right, well. <clears throat> I can upgrade the ice tonic that's in the window to a two star, and that will be what I'm selling at the competition. Is this awesome sight enhancer, this okay greater ice tonic, and this kind of shit speed potion. But that's fine. Let's keep one of these ice tonics for myself so that I can give it to the people that need it, my heroes. But tonics are selling really well today, so, you know. Worth it. This will be some good sales. Let's open up shop, and then at the end of the first shopping session, we'll go get some, uh, get some ingredients. In that case, shouldn't we keep some of these for the next session later tonight? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, I've got a plan, and it's gonna be a good plan, and we're gonna do it good. Mmm, um, I've got a lot of stress. Let's have one sales day this uh, morning. Actually, you know what? Let's leave now and sell later in the day. We'll sell at night, and then in the meantime, we can go hang out with people, make sure we have enough money, do all this cool shit. And we can reduce our stress as we hang out too. We'll have four day we'll have four hours of socialization. Well technically we'll have three and then we'll go back. Twenty A. Thirty A. Thirty B. Perfect. I can rank up with you, but I want to rank up with Zid, so we're going to do that first. Ahem. I should take a cough drop. I think you'll be happy with the spoils. Yeah. Oh, I did need that fuel. That is a good, that, that is good spoils. Home. I'm ready for a break, sure. You'd better be. So, do I look any different? Because you're talking to a woman who's fought monsters and lived to tell the tale. Zid, amazing, tell me more. Hook day. Eh? That's the first rule of bardic storytelling. Start with the strong opening act. Opening act. Applies warming up for three turns. Raises interest by five at the start of a customer's turn. Customer cannot gain shield. Next, and plays primed, which costs one patient less, which is good. I'd order for selling potions too, but don't leave me wondering, what's it been like staring at us, starting out as a hero? You know, in some ways, it's just exactly how the songs and stories describe it. And yet, somehow, it's not at all what I was expecting. Come on, I promise I'll tell you all about it, but let's walk while we talk. This spot looks safe enough. We better not go any farther. I'm reasonably sure I can protect you in a pinch, but... Better not put it to the test so soon. I feel safe with you. And it might be fun to see you in action. If that's the key to impressing you, I'll try to find a slime to kick around. That sounds too easy. The way I heard it, you've vanquished a few monsters already. Heh, <laughs> is that what I said? Because monsters might have been overstating things a little. But there were rodents with insectoid eyes and, and spitting songbirds, and the flowers sense very hurtful things. I guess most of the creatures I've encountered so far were less monsters than pests. Sounds like some of my customers. They're not lethal, but they'll ruin your day if you let them. Ha! Present company excluded, I hope. But you're right to see the similarities. There's a common link between adventuring and entrepreneurship. In either case, you've got to be bold. Oh, I man, I've got a whole new appreciation for heroes. I've always sort of pegged the ballads as hyperbolic. But when you're out here and your blood is pumping, it all feels pretty epic. Think you are a ballad of your own? You know, maybe. I'm not sure there's anything new to be said about the life of a hero, but I'll keep an open mind. For now, though, I'm plenty busy. Yeah, me too. I should probably be heading home. I'll walk you back, just in case there are any of those creepy-eyed chipmunks around. That's totally something a hero would say. I think you're getting the hang of it already. You know something, Sylvia? I think you might be right. Sha. So cool. Yeah. I don't have anything, uh, any additional things yet. What if I give you... I think you're someone who would appreciate a gem. Kinda dig it? Okay, I was wrong. Alright, should I, should I just hard focus Zid? No, I shouldn't. I should, I should, um... There are other people whose services I require. I'll hang out with you one more time. Let's nosh! Sid hums while she chews, which Syl Sylvia finds charming. I don't know if the, that gets annoying, or if you have any requests. Yeah, we need that stress relief, brah. We need it desperately. Now I can rank up again? God damn it! What's new with you? 
we're ranking up so we get another card and so that we can uh, be closer to her. That's the deal. That's, that's, how it, that's how it's working, right? Thanks for tagging along, Sylvia. I'm in the mood for, for, to perform some music. I know the hub could go a long way. You mean like backing vocals? Is this my big break? I've got the singing covered, but I was hoping you could hold the tin can and collect any tips that come in. I would just leave my guitar case open, but it's de de developed a taste for small change and small dogs. It tells the tale of Robin, the pint-sized squire who survived the Heroes Guild's battle with Maven, Witch Queen of Rafta. Robin was brave, and though he was tiny, he kicked that old hag direct in her hiney! Hearing it live is a different experience, I can tell you that for, uh, for a fact. Live music fucking owns. Choice. Many of them stop to lift, listen. Others keep walking, but bop along with the melody as they go. As one man drops a coin into Sylvia's tin, he remarks that the singer sounds almost as good as Zidriel herself. Well, how'd we do? I think they liked it. They always do, which is too bad. Because I hate that song, Sylvia. It's seri- it is seriously bad. Wait, really? But it's one of your big hits. That means it's popular, doesn't mean it's good. The melody's fine, but the lyrics are juvenile and frankly a bit sexist. The guy who wrote it didn't even get the historical details right. According to Robin's own account, he survived by being well clear of the blast zone. He was just there to carry everybody's gear and he hid behind a tree during the fight. But I guess that doesn't rhyme with tiny, so... Wow, you really do hate that song. Well, I know how the sausage is made. Most of the rah-rah hero battles are the same. Propaganda masquerading as a history lesson written by guys who know a lot less about it than they'd like to pretend. Damn! But they're crowd pleasers, so what am I going to do about it? Stop performing them. Couldn't you take them out of rotation and play the songs you actually like? Well, as a performer, it's not so much about what I like, is it? But if you think about it, you and I, we're both in the business of pleasing other people. And if my audience, my customers, find comfort in the familiar, can't fault it. A crowded market street just isn't the place to drop a new single. But give people a familiar chorus they can hum along with and they'll be more receptive to whatever else you have to say. Mmm. I see, I see. Raise interest by five for each time this card has been played during the current transaction. Ooh. You're coming up with some uh, actual sick deck strategies, huh? Like, Zid's deck is really interesting. And we're not just saying that because I'm gay. I can work that angle. I'm just surprised to learn you're so beholden to your audience. I thought you'd have a lot more freedom. Funny, I thought so too. And listen, I can't complain. I've had a dream career so far. But I'm getting older, and I'm realizing all the little compromises I've made along the way. They have a way of adding up. Do you know I used to write my own stuff? Songwriting is what, I, what drew me to the industry to begin with. I spent my preteen years barricaded away in my bedroom trying to put all my messy adolescent emotions into song. I bet you were adorable. Little Zid and all her big feelings. You know, I broke some hearts in my day, but I grew out of that. Mostly. Eh? I also wrote some pretty terrible songs, actually. They were honest, though. There's value in that. But then came the managers and the focus groups and the ready-made hit machine. Soon I was too busy to put pen to paper. I'm still too busy, even now that I'm on this little sabbatical of mine. Well, you know what they say. If you wait till you're ready, it'll never happen. Yeah. Yeah, you might have a point there. I should at least try to set aside time for writing. Stretch those old muscles, if nothing else. But for now, I gotta swallow my opinions and crank out another popular ballad. Let's fill that tin can with coins, yeah? I know a local soup kitchen in need of more than a few loose coppers. Shakabra! Lover, lover, fantastic. Alright, now it's time to actually uh, do shit. Man, Zid, you're so cool. You're so cool, Zid. No discount for stalkers. How about a discount for... Uh, your, your good friend. Mm. I know you've got a bit of everything. That's what I want. These are some good ass funguses. Let's see what's on sale today, though. I saw that uh, fish stuff was on sale. I do wish that I could uh, uh, go minus to get max, you know? Hmm. Sure. Sure. 
Yeah, this is this is good. I need those. I need that. Uh, I need that vitamin D. Uh, that's not worth it. It's only six bucks. What do I mean? It's not worth it. It's totally. It's not like worth much, but it is worth it. All right, how's my ingredient stock looking? We've got uh, some B, some D, some B. I think I need C, right? Got 18. I need some more ore. I need some more. Well, I've got, uh, I got some good D from, uh, these murk water pearls, but I can get better D from the, the glass, uh, glass ore. Um. Yeah, okay. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do just nicely. All right, now should I go to Saffron? I should go to Saffron and buy some fuel. Fuck me. Hmm. Let's get that a basement cauldron. I'm probably not gonna use it yet, but I've got the money now. No, let's buy the fuel because I need the fuel more immediately to make sure that I have good potions for a while. Buy it. Buy it. Perfect, excellent, thank you. Have a plant. Your generosity humbles me. But a thoughtful present. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I could buy a cauldron for Muk Tuk. Now, I still have a cauldron, right? Like in my inventory. I've got this cauldron. Uh, ta, 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 ta. It'll just be able to take more Magimans, or I buy another one of these good cauldrons, one of these good goods. Let's get one of these good ones. Why would I buy anything other than the Ocean Cauldron? I still don't have good enough ingredients. Alright, now I don't have enough money to send anybody out on adventures, and I already invested in the uh, ingredients for the day. So, the plan is to go home, open up shop, sell my shit, and then pass out and go to bed. Yep. Okay. Da 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 Okay. How are my brews? They need to be they need to bre finish brewing overnight, right? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, nighty night gamers. Here we go! Oh, salt and pepper! Hey, what's going on? You ready for us? I don't think you're ready. You gonna put some pep in our step? I think I can do that. Alright, get it on it. Get on it then.
Okay, you're not going to give me any t any stress, uh, but I will s still get tension. That's a ball of yarn you can bat around all day. Don't shove off, not yet. I didn't put Zid's new cards in there. Days. All cards cause one more patience. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Avesta, ahoy, aye, aye. These cats are out of control. Alright, yeah, let's, uh... Guided thought and close it out. That's what we'll do. We got a good highly interested. 595! These tonics are selling like fucking crazy! God damn! Holy shit! I'll take that meditation, please. Thank you very much. I put my heart and soul into this potion. If I'm not in stage in five, they'll string me up by maracas. Some things can't be rushed. Come on, let's haggle. Fuck. Set him up. Reel him in. And close it out. Best I can do. 467. It's a good deal. I uh, wish you weren't so busy, but you know. Passionate commoner. Ah, my stress is going down by the minute. And you're gonna put on some shields, but that's okay. I've got enough- I've got enough cards that deal enough interest damage to get through them. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good as hell. Next, interest applied- uh, interest raising card by 50%. Patience less. This will be good. This will be good. This will be good as hell. Why'd you leave your toddler in charge? All right. Yes. Excellent. Well. Maybe I should have just closed it out first. Because I don't have enough patience to really wait for a better hand than that. We have sympathy, but, uh, you know, better to get more sympathy. Captivate is sort of like a neutral card now. Ah, the stress. Ah, the stress. Yeah, yeah. I need to get one more turn. I need to just do one more to get another heart and get 30% increase. Ah, oh, man. The stress is going to be worth it for this outcome. Yes. Okay. That was worth it. It was tough, but it was worth it. We got it. Salt Pepper again. More speed potions. All right. Elevator pitch. Muscle memory. And pressing the attack. You're going to apply three more stress on me. Or I can close it out and get you to the next tier. This isn't going to sell for that much anyways. Well, it's going to sell for a little. Got eight patients left and 30% stress. Uh, here's hoping. Here's hoping we get some good cards instead of some stretch, some stress. Ugh. Ugh. No stress. Nice.
Nice. Ah, oh, I should have done the stress relief one. I didn't realize I had gotten so far to max. Health, mana, and stamina. I don't know how to make a stamina potion. I might, but I don't... Uh, I haven't made one yet. And the fact that you're asking for three, even though it does pay a lot, uh, it's just gonna be really annoying considering the number of orders that I currently have on backlog. Tension sucks, but he's not giving me any stress, so that's good. Oh, I'm so stressed. But I can get you to the next tier at the very least. Do you accept coupons that I drew just now on a napkin? Oh, uh, her sprite's so bad. I currently have a 50% increase. So I can just close it out and get 17. Or I can reel them in and then close it out. Ah, let's reel them in and then close it out. Yeah, we got super interested. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll work with it. Whew, I'm glad that's all of them. I need more stress relief. I can admit her education comes in handy at times. My bones. Today's gonna be a productive day. It sort of has to be. Hello. I see I beat the morning rush. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I know you. And I know you. Hello, Sylvia. Are pets allowed? May here is my constant companion. Meh. Alright. I was kind of clowning on him by giving him, like, the most generic ass, uh, you know, fucking... Uh, blonde, blue-eyed, white fuckboy hero with a cravat and being like, let's do this fair and square. Let's be heroes. Yeah, I'm Prince Charming. But he's got a fucking... That shitty lizard makes him infinitely better. Of course it's all right. Uh, can I interest you in a potion? Wait, that was a stupid question. Never mind. Please, don't trouble yourself. I just wanted to drop in and introduce myself. The competition was too frenzied for co conversation. And for reasons I don't understand, they had me judging a soap-making contest right after the potions, potions portion. Give Baptiste an inch. The soap-making was not so riveting, but I was intrigued by what I saw when you were at the podium. You've got some talent, Sylvia. That much is obvious. Wow, thank you. From you, that means a lot. I don't normally geek out like this, but I studied some of your work in college. Your application of thermodynamic principles to elemental resistance potions is legendary. Well, now I'm the one who's honored. You have no idea how tiresome it is to be famous for all the wrong reasons. I've got to be going, but thank you, Sylvia, for making my day a little brighter. And good luck out there, yeah? Oh, he's so cool. Wow, that really was something, wasn't it? One of his fangirls, are you? I wouldn't say that, but he's kind of a big deal in potion-making circles. His potions are supposed to be the very best. Not that I've ever been able to afford one. And his success is an even more impressive when you consider that he went through what he went through as a kid. Meh. Meh? Really? Wow, you're hard to impress. You realize Robin was there when Maven the Witch Queen was defeated, right? He was just a little kid... Oh, that's Robin the Robin the the ba da ba da ba Robin the Tiny. And yet he survived. He's the only one who walked away from that battle. I've always assumed his survival was a fluke. He got lucky, and then he decided to milk his situation for all it was worth, leveraging his fame to make his potions seem more prestigious. His prices are absurd, and people pay them. Also, he's not that handsome. Who said he was handsome? What's got what's that got to do with anything? I'm just saying he's overrated. Stop hounding me. I'm gay, alright? Fine, fine, let's just drop it. The lizard was weird though, right? Don't get me started about the lizard. <laughs> Love that wit lizard. That lizard was the best part of Robin. Corsac subtle sway. Mmm. Haggle uh, customers will start stubborn. Okay. Ocean Coast has increased loot drops. 
Okay, okay. Let's get this fucking bread. Yeah, greater mana potion. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And now a greater fire tonic. A good brew. Okay, I'll take it. Now we need to make an ice tonic, right? A another ice tonic, because I uh, sold all the other ones. No, I still have one. Why can't I turn that in? Oh, because it needs to uh, be smell good. And you need your speed potion to be... Uh, uh, feel good? Warm? I don't know. Any case, let's make that speed potion first. This will make your stomach hurty. That's not good. This will make your stomach good, though. Now you need a greater or better speed potion. Okay. So that means some bomb ass. Bomb ass shit. Unfortunately, I can't make any bomb ass shit. There's only one of these things that, uh, made a tummy good, right? Well, this is the only one that's cheap in terms of resources. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that does both C and D in equal amounts. So the best thing I could do would be to add something fucky, like a really high-powered A or E. But has a chance to lose a star on completion for something with 30 total matchmins. I don't want to put in this Kraken thing because it makes your tummy hurty. But I need to put in something with a good number of uh, Magimins. But you're going to lose a star on completion. Maybe I can get rid of this then. And put in... Ah, uh, that'll be greater, possibly. It might possibly be greater, and it will take. It will have a good tummy feel. Okay, all right. Let's try that. All right. Um, that'll be a good tummy feel speed potion. And let's try and make a... Let's see, you want a fire or and an ice tonic tomorrow that have smell good. I've got an ice tonic that don't smell good. I've got a fire tonic that don't smell good. Okay, uh, never mind, gonna have to... That one's just gonna have to be declined. Okay, um, I've got some health and mana potions, but I could use more health potions.
Also, I need to go to the coast, which means I need more ice potions? Uh, what? What's in the coast? I feel like I need to look up a, 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 a list of what potions people need for different areas. Um, the ice tonic's good. I think. I can make a stamina potion. Let's make a stamina potion. Now that I have the actual ingredients for it. And by ingredients, I mean single ingredient. Well, that's fine. We'll make a we'll make a cheap one. I mean, not cheap specifically, but like a not expensive one. It will still be a common stamina potion. Yeah, okay. And then we'll go out and uh, buy some shit. We got a lot of fucking money from yesterday. We'll do another day of um, uh, shopping and hanging out with people and reducing stress. Because Sylvia needs help. Hmm. All right. Muscle memory is really good. Sympathy's really good. Captivate's kind of worth it. Okay. Alright, my deck is drastically changed, but I think it'll be for the best. Now let's go out and do some shopping, see what's going on with everybody today. Hello. 60 total Madramins, good. 40 B Madramins, very good. And I've already gotten that, so. Okay. We'll do that. Do you want a gem? No. From a certain angle, I quite like it. You don't like anything, do you? Uh, okay. Let's send out the heroes. And then we'll come back and hang out with people. Well, we'll hang out with uh, Zid once. And then we'll uh, send them out. <sighs> Read fan mail. You wanna help out? Nice. Sid empties a rucksack full of envelopes under tables. All fan mail addressed to her. In truth, though, not every letter is from a fan. Mixed in with notes of admiration and affirmation, Sylvia discovers a lot of negativity. There are demands for song ringing, feeding back, noise complaints, unhinged rants about gender roles, <laughs> and some very unconstructive criticism of Sid's music. The bad ones seem to roll right off Sid's back, though. She focuses instead on a letter from a little girl who claims Sid has inspired her to become a musician herself. Sometimes that's all it takes, Sylvia. One nice letter makes all the heckling and rotten tomatoes worthwhile. Sylvia feels a fair amount closer to Zid and moderately less stressed. Yeah. You know I'm up for it. I do know you're up for it. Uh, now, what's... The hidden depth charge is right. Uh, Ocean Coast has increased loot drops. So go to the coast, please. Wow, yeah, you're, you, you kicked ass out there. I don't need to give you a second health potion. The single ice tonic. Ah, really? You do need one more? Like, are you sure? 
Oh, is it because this grants 17 more health, not just uh, 10? Okay. Now your loot capacity is 20. I'll give you this sight enhancer to give you some good shit. That'll be good, I think. Good luck, Zid! Alright, Mint. Sorry I've been ignoring you a little bit. I just haven't had a chance to really uh, give you uh, a chance to shine. I also ran out of health potions just now. So... I'm still not going to be able to give you a chance to shine. Whoops. Yeah, I need to give- I need to brew up some drowsiness cure in order for you to get past here. In the meantime... How about you go back to the, uh, forest again? Yeah, I'll give you a mana potion. And you should be good. Da... Da... Ra. Yep, good. I already invested from Baptiste, so I should be good there. Yeah, alright. Let's buy ingredients and stuff again, make sure that, uh... Quinn has everything we need, all the new things we found, yeah. Thank you. Anything on sale? Fruits are on sale. Oh uh, no, ore is on sale. Okay. This is a pretty good flower. And these are good pheromones as well. Really gonna spend 360 on it for 20? Yeah, I am, because that's a really good deal. The copper dollops are really good to add to any potion just to increase the value. These are really good for health potions, which I'm gonna need to brew some more of. These are surely good for something that I just don't brew all that often. And down to 174 bucks. Let's make sure that we have all the basic things. I wish I could sort of like sort her. Uh, their inventory to make it like uh, lowest Magimans on top, highest Magimans on the bottom. At the moment, it doesn't really do that. I'll just try and find some stuff that I don't really use all that much, or stuff that I do use a lot. 40C. 24C. Okay, that's what the difference is. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. Thanks, Quinn. Would you like, uh... Some slime ooze. No strings attached, really? Or maybe hang out with me sometime. Though I only have one hangout session left, and I'd like to rank up somebody else so I can get more cards. I should also get, um, some... Fuel? I should get some fuel. Thank you. Let's let's hang out with Luna. 
I, I think we've left her on the back burner for long enough. I don't have enough money to actually pay her for any, any of her services, but I can at least hang out with her. What can I do for you, Sylvia? What's up? <clears throat> what is up? Tell me more about yourself. I'm curious. Oh, sure. I have a copy of my CV that you can take with you. At least everything, degrees, internships. It basically starts at kindergarten and keeps going. Haha. <laughs> That's good information to have if we're going to be in business together. I know, right? You get it. But I'm also curious about you as a person. What's your story? What's your story? Ooh, that's a tough one. I mean, where to begin? Well, are you new to town? Oh, yes, I've only been here a few months. I'd been working for a big marketing firm on the mainland and I was really good at it, but I wanted to branch out and do my own thing, spread my wings a little, you know? And there's no better place for that than Rafta. I don't have to tell you that though, do I? We're both here to find success in our own terms. I confess I know quite a bit about you. I do my homework on potential clients, you see. Learn anything interesting? Oh, did you figure out where I left my sandwich store punch card? Um, no, but feel free to keep me posted on that. I'm rooting for you. I only did some light digging. It's good business sense to know who I'm going to be working with. But more than that, I think of marketing at its best as a tool for elevating worthy people and ideas. You might not be the most lucrative or stable client I could pursue. Hard to argue with that. But you have so much potential for success, Sylvia. You've got skill and ambition, and from what I can tell, you like what you do. If I can help give you a boost towards success, then I feel like I'm using my own talents for good, and maybe even having a positive impact on your life. That's refreshingly big-hearted. Oh, don't be fooled. I can be a total mercenary when I need to be. But I'll work hard for you, Sylvia, if you let me. I'll even give you more pointers in case they're helpful. For instance, as young business owners, we have stressful lives, but keep in mind, stress doesn't have to be a bad thing. You don't have to let the anxiety of the job sweep you away. You can lean into it and ride it like a wave instead. Raise interest by three for every five points of current stress level. Discard one card at random. Hmm. 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 A positive spin on stress? I like that. Helping people see things in a new light is all part of the job. Blush. And I'm good at what I do. I mean, just look at that CV, Sylvia. It's a thing of beauty. She really into the CV, huh? Business girlfriend. Business moth GF. All right, that's all that I can do today. I've got no more money. I've got no more time. We're gonna go back and sell more potions. Oh, our brewing is also done. I should have maybe aimed for four if I knew that I was gonna be out for so long. Whoops. A little bit overdone, but I hope that's fine. Okay. Common stamina. Damn, it didn't upgrade to, um, greater. Then let's try again for the speed potion. Unfortunately, none of these have a uh, good tummy feel, which is what they need, right? Good tummy feel? Yeah. I'm going to call it that until I learn, until they tell me what it is explicitly. Yeah, cheap, good tummy feel. Thank you. All right, chance of losing a star on completion. However, uh, that's worth it. It's fine. Now, uh, you'll be good with uh, a four, a reduction to four, which means I need to get rid of five, which means I need to do one of these and one of these, right? Yeah, because you're going to be brewing overnight. Excellent. Here's hoping that we get a... I think at at minimum we still get a greater speed potion of star rank zero. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what potions do we currently have? 
Health potions are what we need. Which is A and B. <clears throat> this could be the greatest health potion ever. It could, uh, it will become a tier beyond greater, and it could become a one star tier beyond greater health potion. We'll see how it goes. We'll get three of them. So that's good. Man, those fucking uh, things, those eggs, whatever they were, they were fucking powerful. That was some good shit. Hmm. Common speed potion. Greater fire tonic. Keep the mana potions. Uh... Yeah, I don't need the speed potions. Hmm. Let's keep that and give it to Zid. Alright, this is my best thing. I don't think I need to use them anytime soon. So, let's go to this common thunder tonic too. So we've got the stamina potion, the mana potions, and four common speed potions. Uh, well, let's sell them before we sell the greater speed potions in case somebody needs them some way, somehow. We're selling a lot of yellow today, huh? You know what, let's just sell the, um... Fixed 15% markup from base price. Okay. We'll sell it. We'll see how that goes. Open sesame. Bring me the money, please. Actually, there's three pirates on my way here. They're always underfoot. I know I'm going to be stressed out. It's fine. Don't take me for a rube. <sighs> ah, boy. Yeah, the stress is starting to become a problem. Everybody's stubborn today. That's unfortunate. Did I mention I've got six active quests right now? Sorry, I know you're anxious to get questing. Yeah, this, uh, this is, a uh, rough. Ugh. I can only really hope for some good, um, some good cards this next turn. I hate having to choose between potions and dinner. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Not like I really needed it, but, you know. Let's close this out. Get a good sale on it. Get a good price. I had a dream this place was condemned. Oh boy. 
Ah, oh boy. Ugh. I'm worried about the stress that you're going to be applying to me. I have 32% stress. I just want you out of here now, man. Get the fuck out. Greater fire, po fire tonic and greater health potion. I can make those. With good taste? I don't know. I'm gonna reject it. I'm sorry that this artisan just doesn't exist. But it's fine. All right, get fucking get out. Take 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 it. Take it. Leave me alone. I'm stressed out, okay? Give me two shield and let me do a chorus. And then I'll do another chorus next time. This is gonna suck. Take it. Take it. Just take it. Oh boy. That that's rough. I need to I really need to reduce my stress. Uh I need to focus on I need to get more stress reduction cards in my uh deck. That's what I need to do. Three more days until the competition though. I've been streaming for a while. Uh um, uh oh, my danger sense is tingling. Hey, Corsac. Uh, Ken, I'll tell you that swamp is no joke. It's a charming little spot compared to the electrified pools of the Storm Plains, though. Sounds like a humble brag to me. You must know I haven't seen any of those places. I've been chained to this counter since I got to Rafta. Nothing immodest about it. I'm here as a professional courtesy. Though you should know, it'd be pointless to send your people to the plains for some time. I've helped myself to all the good stuff. And there was some very good stuff. I'd better get to using some of the bounty now. Lay me a scales to start to smell after precisely 32 hours and my customers know to expect better Ugh! you know the worst part of this owl even i'm impressed that he goes out there and gets his own ingredients didn't i say so as a potion maker corsac seems a talented amateur at best but his access to ingredients is second to none follow in his footsteps and you'll only get his dregs okay i appreciate the professional courtesy then if i follow after you and i'm only gonna get dregs then thank you for telling me where you've been Shadow Step Shortage. Hidden Depth Charges. The Ocean Coast has more drops. Human Interest. Uh, they start with Sympathy. Okay. Cool. Alright. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't too bad. Let's see what we can get. Grand health potion! It's grand. Oh, come on. Tell me that this turn, this uh, turned out good. Flawed brew? Still a five star. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Baby. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well. What do I have in terms of potions? Mana, stamina, some really bomb-ass health potions. 30 health. Man, people, y'all better be ready for anything now. Um, let's see. Sleepy time cure. Drowsiness cure. Okay. Okay.
All right, now let's focus on some B. Perfect. A greater drowsiness cure. It's a shame that it's perfect with the uh, 7 out of 8. Let's see, gets two with a chance of one more. Chance of gaining one more to get to four when it already has three. Uh, yeah, that's better. All right, let's make sure, let's get this down to two, which means I need to reduce five, which means three and two. I love doing math. Math is fun. Wait. I want to get it down to four because I want to, again, spend most of my day reducing my stress and hanging out with my friends. Um... So, let's get it down to three. Let's spend two things outside. And then we can come back and end the day early and get stressed back by ending the day early. Okay, so we want to get it down to three, which is four. That's good. Next. Which of my potions is the weakest in terms of the three that I have queued up for the uh, the competition? I think that it's the um, it was the uh, okay. It's actually the greater speed potion. I've got a one star. I could possibly do better. Let's try and get a better than a one star greater speed potion. I've got some better ingredients now. 20. Actually, I've kind of run out of my D ingredients. Yeah, I don't have enough uh, just straight D ingredients to work with here, so we're not gonna. Let's uh, save that for the next brew that we do later tonight when we get more ingredients. Okay, in which case. Yeah, we haven't brewed a shadow tonic yet. Let's do that. Or at least let's try to do that. Jeez. I don't have anything else that I could add to E that wouldn't drastically uh, fuck up the proportions by adding too much A. Though I could possibly add some more B without it being too much of an issue. Yeah, okay. That works. That works well. Again, we get it down to three. That means six. That means I can actually just use two cactuses. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And this will be a really good-ass Shadow Tonic. Excellent. We got some good shit on the goddamn brewer. Hmm, one of these didn't sell. Okay. Let's take it then. And, uh, away we go. Ugh. Let's get rearranged here. Starts a little bit, uh, itchy. Let's get a cough drop in there. Fleshy, bloody tongue? 
Uh, Bargast Canine. Mosquito Plant and Courtier's Orchid. That is a really good item. Ooh, that's a good slime. I think I already have a rat Fido, so I'll just spend 50 here. Disrupt the Shadow Step ecosystem. So Zid, how'd you do? I handled it. Yo, the fuck? A moat of mana. A tiny concentration of raw mana. Fuck yeah. Selkie lice? They have our seal of approval. Uh, like most basic of the salt, it's a staple for chefs and witches alike. Mandragon roots and coral. Ooh, coral's good for uh, uh, smelting. Got it. Okay. Man, your theme's so cool. What if I gave you a fish? What if I gave you a different fish than that fish? You don't like fish? Hmm. No, well, let's rank up with somebody else. Yeah, you're gonna be my last hangout session. Just to make sure that I have time for everybody. Hmm. Been a while since I've see, seen one of those. I think this one's new. All right. Ba 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 ba. Nice. I didn't think there was anything on- oh, there was something on sale. Fruits. Okay. In that case, give me these phantom palms. This singular phantom palm. My bad. Worth it. Hmm. This is worth it. I am buying something. Stop being a fucking... Okay, I can only buy two of those. Alright, good. I like buying the stuff that's on sale. And I like buying these uh, copper dollops. They're, they're good for, uh, good for business. Okay. Now... Hang out with Muck Tuck. I do need stress relief. But I think I'm going to be able to get a good amount of stress relief tonight. Abyssalite. Okay. I've never seen that before. Hmm. I think you'll have a good card for me. I've got coral now, and that's sort of what I needed for these upgrades. Okay. Okay. So, I can rank up with Muktuk. 
that's one. I can rank up that piece, that's two. And that's the two, that's sort of all I have time for. Marketing packages trigger on the next day. I'm brewing a Shadow Tonic and a Drowsiness Cure. And what do I have in my inventory that I can sell tomorrow? I kind of want to focus on using these mana potions for other things, so unfortunately I'm going to have to decline the proposition. Maybe I'll buy a- I'll buy a loot crate. That's what I'll do. With my remaining money today. I really shouldn't be playing this close to the fire. Ooh, but I can rank up with salt and pepper. Salt Watermelon, 40D, that's good. 30D, that's good. Figment Palm, I think I've had that before. Storm Plains Floor, good. All right, so out of the three rank ups that I can pick, I can choose Baptiste, Muck Tuck, and Salt and Pepper. Hmm. I met Baptiste first. It's been... I haven't given him any chance. <sighs> let's let's give him a let's give him a chance. Then I met Mucktuck second. I'm not especially busy. Hmm. I trust you don't mind if I multitask. Your arrival coincided with the package delivery, and mail from the mainland has proven so irregular. I find myself quite eager to see what's inside. I'm curious, too. Baptiste rips into his package with the unrestrained joy of a little kid with a birthday present. His glee intensifies when he sees the contents. Would you look at that? My favorite brand of conditioner! You can't find this in Rafta! Ooh, and the extra silky dental floss! I do have sensitive gums. This is from my mother. She must have known I'd be missing some of the comforts of home. That's kind of her. It is, except now I feel her absence even more keenly than before. Tell me, Sylvia, what's your pedigree? My what? Your pedigree! Your background! Who are you- who are your people? I'm, I come from good stout folk. My parents started with basically nothing, but they've worked hard their whole lives. They instilled that work ethic, ethic in me, so I put myself through college, and now here I am, running a business. I love it! Your parents sound like respectable salt-of-the-earth types. My own background is quite different from yours. You don't say. My father is the Duke of Ambervale. He owes his fortune to his shrewd investment decisions. Concerning investments made with, with the somewhat smaller fortune he inherited from my grandfather, the previous Duke of Al Ambervale. My great-grandfather was a lowly baron, bit of a black sheep. But my great-great-father-grandfather actually established the very first Heroes Guild. So you're in the family business. That's right, although it's been some time since any of us really got our hands dirty in the daily operations. My brothers ended up with cushy positions on the continent. They told me I was mad coming here. I say they don't know what they're missing! Lately I've been thinking that it's necessary, even desirable, to get your hands dirty from time to time. Wow, based. How else can you truly get to know a place, particularly a place like Rafta? This island is... untidy, but that's what makes it so fascinating, and filled to bursting with opportunity. I hope you're right. Sounds like we've both hitched our wagons to the same horse. Of course, your wagon has comfortable seats. I do feel that our fortunes are linked. Certainly there's a symbiotic tie between the guild and potion makers like yourself. So I very much want you to succeed, Sylvia. In fact, I sympathize you with you quite a bit. If you can establish this sort of rapport with your customers, you'd be off to a fine start. Build rapport. Interest by eight. Apply sympathy for two turns. Two turns is good. For two patients, it better be good. Sure, I'll even make puppy dog eyes if it'll help open their wallets. Excellent. Now, is there anything else I can help with? If not, I should get back to the grindstones. Understand I'm being literal. We just received a large shipment of grindstones and it falls to me to unload them all. I guess a guildmaster's work is never done. No, indeed. I want to get my hands dirty. Let's hope I don't come to regret that impulse. Damn. Pretty based of you. Ah, you want to rank up again. I see. Let's give Muck Tuck his, his, his time in the sun. He needs it. 
I, I've been ignoring him for just a little bit. I can make time for a fellow artist. <laughs> that's 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 Muck Tuck voice. <laughs> Rafter is indeed strange and delightful. Do you not find it so? In all my many travels, I have seen no place like it. You've traveled a lot then. I have, but that is not so unusual for a walrus. Those of us who seek excellence, who pursue mastery in our chosen field, must undertake a great pr pilgrimage, and mine has brought me here. Tell me more. I don't know much about walrus culture. Then I shall be glad to teach you. My homeland is a remote place marked by its harsh climate. We are welcoming of outsiders, yet receive few visitors. And so we take it upon ourselves to send our best and brightest out into the larger world as emissaries and pilgrims. We travelers are charged with a great and holy purpose. We are meant to spread our expertise far and wide, to dedicate ourselves to service in foreign lands as a path to self-improvement and enlightenment. Some of us have devoted ourselves to medicine, some of us philosophy, while others have created artworks of such indescribable beauty you would weep to look upon them. And that's why you're here? To share your artistic talent? You are correct! My pilgrimage has brought me to Raptor's shores, and here I shall remain until I have created a masterpiece! But to create something more remarkable than the land itself, this will be a challenge. People will tell you that Raptor is a wild place, chaotic, but in fact the opposite is true, for this island was built with intention. It was shaped by the hand of a powerful witch! Maven carved out the mountains. She charted the course of the rivers. The very flora and fauna have their origins in her lab. She had a bit of a god complex. She had the right idea. Mm, I'm not going to agree with her. Because I don't know the land. I haven't been out there. She got her kicks by subverting the natural order. But don't you see it to impose our will upon this natural order? Is that not the very definition of craftsmanship? This, then, is what Rafto means to me. It is a living artwork upon its very surface. Every surface I see the mark of its maker. I respect your point of view. As craftspeople, we should acknowledge the craftsmanship of others. Indeed, and not just acknowledge, but celebrate! Enthusiasm is like love or beauty. It is not diminished when it is shared. Enthusiasm. Three. Raise interest by 16. Goddamn. I'll try to remember that when I'm back at the shop. Routine can make it difficult, I know, but we must do all we can to muster enthusiasm for the beauty that is all around us. That is what travel teaches us in the end, to look around with hungry eyes, to truly see a place. And to find joy in all that is different and strange and new. Hmm. Based. And also a fantastic card. Holy shit. Alright. Time to go home. Uh, build my deck. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. I wish I had more money. Because then I would have sent them out on adventures. But I spent all my money on ingredients. Damn it. Tomorrow then. All right, let's bottle these shadow tonics. Yeah, great brew. It has everything. It has every disease. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do we have? More health potions. More ice tonics. No, uh, let's try hand in another speed potion. Get a better one. One more speed potion attempt. I've gotten some good ingredients recently. I didn't go back to Quinn to give the ingredients to, to them. Fuck. We'll do the rot flies. Is there anything that's worth more than the 20? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, this one, but it has a uh, 10. Uh,
Yeah, I was hoping it would add more. Hmm, nope. That's good. Yes, it will become a three star with that. Now I'm going to be brewing it for uh, three plus four is seven, so I can uh, just put in one thing overnight. Okay, this will get us a three star greater speed potion, which is uh, really all we need. Next up. Uh, more health potions. Might as well. Let's add some... Ah, I can't. Got it. Get rid of the sea salt. We'll, we'll stick to what we know, you know? Nope, that's too much. Too many Magimans. I can't handle that many. That many. Now I just need six, so that's just one Mandrake root. And now we can add in the rest of these. Yeah. It's perfect, we'll get an extra two stars on completion with a chance of getting a five star. That's fine. And this will finish brewing in three plus two is five. Did I miscalculate? I miscalculated. This potion will be due, uh, done tomorrow afternoon. This potion, I will get the calculation right. Which is, honestly, I just needed a hay, but I don't have a hay, so we'll just do this. Yeah, it'll be done in three, and then two overnight, and it'll be done in the morning. But, health potions are always necessary. Alright, let's arrange our potions. We need to keep our drowsiness cure and our Shadow Tonic. We can sell this Common Thunder Tonic. Honestly, we can sell that in the uh, vending machine. No, no, I'll be good with selling it here. These shitty greater speed potions. We'll sell one Grand Health Potion. Uh, and then one of each of these will sell. Yep, that looks good to me. No, it doesn't. I don't want to sell that. Uh, we'll sell this other Greater Speed Potion. Okay, now it looks good to me. Actually, let's make sure that the most expensive things go on the most expensive shelf. Okay, now we're good to open up shop. Let's, uh, let's arrange the deck a little bit. Honestly, actually, opening act, um... Customer cannot gain shield, and next card plays one less patience. It's a really good card for having two, uh, two mana, so that's fine. Muscle memory, sympathy, keep your guard up. Set him up, reel him in, close it out. And I've got enough for one more... Uh, sorry, let's 
quit the uh, the set it up reelamin thing. Let's make sure that we can try and get this combo off at least once, and then we'll get the elevator pitch too. I like that it's a constantly drawn card at the start of your turn. Uh, raise interest by four, apply sympathy for one turn. It's good. It's a good card. Raise interest by eight if open or apply sympathy for two turns. This one's really good because it is guaranteed drawn. So let's save. Warming to Sylvia's company, Zid has expressed some frustration over the lack of control when it comes to success. That's cool. I didn't know that they come with little uh, little notes. All right, let's try not to die. No special treatment for me, I insist. Moko, for this one, if you can sell me on it. Enthusiasm! I know you're gonna deal a lot of stress to me. Oh boy. Yep. I want to keep my stress level down. We'll just close it out now. I suppose you do know pa potions better than I. Ah, happiness. I like how it feels. And I just stubbed my toe. And enthusiasm. And we'll close the deal. Highly interested, it's good enough. Wish I could get to max, but that was more than we could afford. Pleasant afternoon, shopkeep. I hope we can come to an agreement. Uh, that's fine. Ah, boy. I can understand why he spends time and we can, like, like, get greedy. Hey, hey, hey. These people are super impatient. Let's get sympathy and a shield up. Muscle memory. Chorus. And hopefully next turn we get another chorus. Hopefully. I've got one shield. That's good. and then close it out? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Ah, oh, boy. Another day, another coin, am I right? I've got a drowsiness cure, but I still can't make greater thunder tonics. Go away. Here's my elevator pitch. I'm very worried. I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to make this sale! If I don't get some better fucking cards. Damn, that was brutal. That was brutal. Oh boy. We didn't even sell either of those. <sighs> Well, let's end the day. We'll gain back 20 stress. We'll be down to 19. Man, I wish we had more than that, but it is what it is. Go to sleep. She's adaptable. I'll give her that. All right. Two more days. Two more days. We can do this. But is it art? Increasing commoner customers? Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. A storm seller. Increased value for fire tonics and silence cures. And the storm planes have better 
Uh, shit. Okay. Good. Let's see, one of these should be done. Yep. <sighs> okay. I don't know which potion I need. Uh, let's try and make a better ice potion, I guess. Uh, not now. Uh, let's make a mana potion. Because I really don't have the uh, ability to make anything too... With, with any of my super rare ingredients. Because I kind of need uh, the ingredients that I need. If you know what I mean. Oh, that was the last uh, uh, hive slime sack. Hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's get some bog beets in there. Sorry, let's get a bog beet in there, because that's all I have. You know what? Not a bog beet. Let's get a banshee bloody tongue. Actually, I don't think I actually submitted that to Quinn either. So... Giant stool mushroom? Ugh, fine. Uh, no copper dollop. Okay. It's not great. I wish I had more, but I'm kind of at my max for Magimins. I could, uh, replace the, uh, yeah. And that means that it's a lower tier, but uh, no chance of it breaking. No, I'm risky. I love I love risk. Yeah. Chance of losing a star goes down to three star instead of three star chance of gaining a star. Now I like my chances because I'm a fucking gambler. All right, let's make this down to uh, two. So that means I need to remove uh, five. Okay. That'll be done by the time I get back from my errands and chores today, which is go and tell the adventurers to do some adventuring bullshit. All right, off we go to travel. Hello, adventurers. How are you doing? There's more hangouts that I need to do. Salt and pepper and Baptiste again. And my stress is lower than it was before. So let's just send you out on an adventuring adventure. It was Shadow Step that was good today, right? The Storm Plains, my bad. I don't have any Thunder Tonics. I sold my last Thunder Tonic. Okay, cool. And this adds 30 health, so there's no way that the 17, which would be 13 less, would be able to uh, make up for it. So, it's fine. Let's see, we'll send you to do this, because you can handle it with just this. You didn't need any mana potions. Rock on. Alright, Zid. Hope to see you soon with some uh, good shit. 
And now Mint will send you to the Shadow Plains. You know I'm game. Or the... the I sent Zid to the Storm Plains. You're going to the Shadow Step. Because now you can clear it. Oh, you do not need that health potion. Uh, you could use this health potion. Would you be able to get through with just that? Yes. Excellent. Good luck! Now, how is our, our, uh, favorite... Uh, based nobleman doing. Reef Radish. That's some good B. Alright, alright. I'll rank up with you, Baptiste. And then I'll invest. Forgive the sheen of dampness upon my brow, Sylvia. I've been applying more than a little elbow grease around the guild hall today. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, it isn't anything too arduous. At the moment, I'm just giving the heroes' his achievements an overdue polish. No pressure, but you can help out if you'd like. An array of trophies plated in gold, silver, bronze, and platinum. Jakes a rag and works her way down the line, figuring she'll meet Baptiste at the midway point. As she polishes, she reads the various engravings. Slime Buster, kill five slimes. Slime Slayer, kill 50 slimes. Slime Bane, kill 500 slimes. That one must take ages to earn. It's a useful motivational tool. Some of these heroes are real trophy chases. Not that he's slacking. His one trophy gleams brighter than any of Sylvia's. It's probably shinier than the day it was made. Baptiste, it seems, is a perfectionist. If so, he has his work cut out for him here. Thank you for your assistance, Diddy Sylvia. Although I can't help but feel this task is only the smallest drop in the bucket. Can I ask you, if you don't mind, to rate our cleanliness? Be brutally honest now. What do you think of the state of the guild hall? Could be better, could be worse. A guild hall is never going to be pristine. I appreciate the candor, but I would like to set the bar a bit higher. This place, it just seems to attract dirt no matter how much I clean. But I've got bad news for dirt. I don't back down from a challenge. If I wanted things easy, I wouldn't have petitioned for this job. Tell me more. Why did you want this job anyway? You must have had a lot of options. Few options than you might expect. But while it's true I'm the son of a duke, I am in fact the third son of a duke. My father liked to call us the heir, the spare, and the stand over there. My brothers had ready-made roles waiting for them with the Heroes Guild main office. Prestigious positions, but cushy to the point of being almost purely ceremonial. My choices were to be third in command there, to be comfortable but utterly superfluous, or to come here where the Guild still faces legitimate and significant challenges. What sorts of challenges? I had the impression the thing was going smoothly. That's the official line, but this island is all but overrun with strange creatures, many of which don't appear in any bestiary. So we have our work cut out for us, and it's dangerous work. My recruitment drive has attracted some well-known old-timers, a few promising up-and-comers, but we're losing people faster than we're gaining them. I didn't realize the mortality rate was so high. Oh, you misunderstand me. I'm not talking about anything so dire as that. I mean, certainly some of our recruits have been eaten or melted, but it's quite a small percentage. The real issue is retention. It's been difficult to attract good talent and near impossible to hold on to it. But I remain undeterred. I'll fill our ranks with the best and the brightest. I'll achieve and surpass the standards set by generations of heroic endeavor. And blast it, I will get that stain out of the table, runner. You just watch me. I like a man with conviction. But that sounds romantic. You got a lot on your plate from the sound of things. Indeed. But as I said, I don't give up easily. People think they know what to expect from someone of my demeanor. That only makes it easy to pull the rug out. Maybe you could try a bit of subversion of your own negotiations. Raise interest and remove a random customer buff. That's pretty damn good. Flipping the script. Sounds fun. It can be. So get out there and put the screws to your customers. Kill them. Unless you want to help me, scrub? No? Okay, bye. Ooh, Electrocution Eel. Shadow Veil Pearl and Spider's Bait Diamond. Damn, it's expensive to get all those materials, but it'll be so, so worth it. All right, now I don't have time to, time or money to buy anything else from anybody else, but I need to go to Quinn first so that I can appraise my materials. Because I got a lot of good ones from those, uh, from the fucking cats. That I just didn't give.
An appetite for business is an achievement I just got. Okay, I did give the moat of mana. That's good. I thought I might not have. I should hang out with Quinn again sometime. In the meantime, I'm going to give Quinn a gift. More ooze. Here you go. I can get used to this. And now I can rank up with Quinn. Excellent. But we must go home, get our brews, our special potions, and then uh, shop. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Maybe we can go out again tonight. I know it's not, like, the best idea to do, but eh. I'd, I'd rather just not work and be stressed, you know? Ah, darn it. I didn't get the extra star. It's still better than the speed potion I had, but mm, could be better, you know? I will never fucking use these speed potions. <sighs> okay. Ooh, weird. I don't like that. Yeah, uh, I'm sticking with the old floor. Ocean Coast Wall? Hmm, I also don't like that. Okay, we're done. Now let's get shopping, and then we'll... Uh... No, I didn't brew anything! I didn't start any new brews! I need to do that! I need to do that first and fucking foremost. All right, what areas, what recipes do I need for certain areas? We got the storm plains, we got the icy coasts. I don't have any ice tonics. Let's make some more ice tonics. Maybe we can make a better ice tonic than ever before. Oh, whoops. Actually, don't have many. Uh... Many blues left. But this is going to be a bomb ass ice potion. Cool. All right, so we've got four, two. I'm not going to sell them tonight. So I can I can wait the full seven because we've got two, two, two. Uh, maybe we can put in one log. Okay, that'll be good. That'll be good. Let's make some more alertness enhancer. Sure, why not? It'll be good to sell at least. got some good sea items so that's that's good hmm 
Hmm. Yeah, I could use a 20. 20B. There it is. Very stable. And a pretty good, uh, pretty good brewing, uh, proportions here. Uh, so we've got six, so we can bring it down by three and we'll be good. And it'll be done by the morning. Okay. Pretty good. I'll take it. I think it's interesting that the uh, custom order started to include the traits, because that's not something that I care about. Now let's open shop. And hope we don't get too stressed out. We probably will get too stressed out, but it's fine. Hey, Saffron! Thanks for the sympathy. Here's some choruses. I'm tense. Give me some sympathy, please. My shield is completely down, but that's fine. And we've got max interest! Max interest, baby! Let's go! Mana potion, stamina potion greater with good sound? Yeah, taste, feel, smell, sight, sound. Okay. I'll try. Potion Pantry Drive. Why would I know about turtles? Ugh, yeah. 20% chance of, uh... Uh, uh, the... The stress is going to be bad, so let's just close this sucker out. Thank you. This one almost sells itself. I see what you're getting at. This is a great potion. It is a great potion. I'm no guinea pig. I'm going to put up my shields. I can see you have reservations. I'm not going to close it out yet, because I think I can get a, uh, the, the warming up is going to be really good. We've got the opening act, which will prime us. Well, it'll just let me use, uh, apply a jingle and pump up, but I won't be able to do anything else. Uh, in fact, none of these actually add interest themselves. Like, look at this. I've got a notion to sell you a potion. My voice is symphonic, and so is this tonic. Oh! If it is minus two, it does increase patience. That's a good thing to know. I It doesn't help me in that situation. Ugh, the busy professional. Sympathy for a turn. 
And it raises interest by five. I think that's worth it. Despite the fact that I'm not going to uh, use this as my opener, warming up is going to be uh, good. I'm leaning toward no, if I'm honest. Some things can't be rushed. Ugh. Ah, I see. I can only add four more. Uh, in that case, let's just add the four more and uh, close the deal. Here's the 20% upsell. I see I haven't burned the place down yet. Hi, Quinn! I had a feeling this one might not suck. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Are you sure gouging me is a good business move? I'm doing my best. <laughs> She's just a little guy. Too steep for what it is, and we both know it. See, I think this is a two patience one, so that's worth it. Alright, well, let's close it out. Best I can do. I'll take it. No take backs. Good. Good sales day, I think. I'd like to think. Who knows? Yeah, it was a good sales day. Right, we're not done brewing yet. It'll still take until the end of the actual night. Right, okay. In the meantime, we go out. We hang out with some of our funny little characters. Uh, and then, yeah. Hopefully we can get some stress relief from that. Honestly, I think tomorrow... I might just stay, not stay home, but uh, focus 100% on not buying ingredients, not brewing potions, just relax. Galoshes would have been good, but your potions helped me dominate. Good shit. I think I have all that, uh, that, all that already, though. What about you, uh, uh, Mint? What, did you find anything uh, banger? Every spider looks like a nail. Ooh. Photonic spore. That's awesome. I've already invested. I've already ranked up. Uh, salt and pepper should be a hangout opportunity. A rank up opportunity. Let's just uh, get some, uh, let's make sure we have all the ingredients ready for Quinn. Have we met? Just kidding. Let me do my thing. Nice. All right, let's rank up with Quinn. You got that lost puppy look. You know I like to live dangerously, but this is a whole new level walking into the monster laden woods along with alongside my stalker. Stalker? I just enjoy your company. That doesn't make me a stalker. Sylvie, that is exactly what a stalker would say. I suppose I could leave, but then you'd be all alone in the woods. Nah, don't leave. That'd be dumb. We just got here, and I'm not the type to quit till I get what I'm after. There's a haggling tip in there somewhere. Don't quit when things are difficult. That's sort of trite, though. I'd be more likely to tell you not to quit while you're ahead. When your opponent is backed into a corner, when you can see their soft, exposed underbelly, don't let up. Pour on the pressure instead. Discard any of the three that do not raise interest. 
That's pretty good for a one star. Brutal, but whatever gets the job done. And actually, speaking of jobs, shouldn't we leave the forest to the heroes? Heroes are like sledgehammers, and sometimes you need a shiv. <laughs> now be quiet or it'll scare away the monsters. You say that like it's a bad thing. Quinn and Sylvia pass the time in silence. Quinn gives off their usual air of indifference. But despite Quinn's casual stance, their eyes are sharp with purpose. Quinn rifles through bushes, kicks over rocks, sniffs mushrooms, and hisses at some adorable woodland creatures. Maybe I could help if I knew what you were looking for. I'm just looking for something new. Anything different from the same old crap. I swear, if that smiling twit with the hammer brings me one more slime... You wanna give me a loan, huh? Hmm. So here's the thing. I like Quinn a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Can I date both Quinn and Zid? I think it's worth looking up. Can you date multiple people in Potionomics? You can only date one character at a time, and there's, uh, and once you enter a relationship, there's no backing out of it. Ah, uh, okay. Polyamory has been blocked. It's been banned. I don't think Quinn and Zid would get along that much. Well, maybe they would. I like them a lot, but I like Zid. Mm. I'll, I'll pursue the romance options for both. You want to give me a loan, huh? You don't need an excuse. Do I strike you as the indirect type? <laughs> I wanted you here in case there's any trouble. Am I the muscle again? Not exactly. What's that old saying? You don't have to outrun the blood-crazed carnage beast. You just have to outrun the person standing next to you. Quinn! Am I here as bait? Sylvia, I'm wounded. If you were bait, I'd hide your broom in the bushes and slash your tendons. Obviously. Where is my broom? <laughs> I'd say see you soon. But I'm pretty sure your funeral is going to be closed casket. Don't you dare leave me here. No, I'm just playing. You sure knew how to know how to cheer me up, Sylvia. All that flailing and crying. I wasn't crying. Oh well. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> Fucking dick. Love him. Love that dick. Alrighty. Uh, anything else I want to do? Not really. Uh, send these fuckers out on adventures? How about that? I did a thing. Where should you go today? My ice tonics aren't done yet, so... You wanna go back to the, uh, the shadow step? Yep, that worked. Do you also want to go to the Shadow Step? I got the ingredients for it. You're so cool, Zid. Actually, you might be good with just this, huh? Yeah, you're good with just the, uh, the greater healing potion, not the grand one. You'll do it. Alright, good shit. See you when you get back. Uh... But yeah, that'll be good. Homeward bound, homeward bound. I need to get that license paperwork ro ro routing again? Routing again? 
All right, last day before the competition. My potions are brewed. They're ready. I just need to make sure that they're in my uh, in my inventory. How? Mm mm mm. Ah, oh, decrease value for enhancers. I just I just made enhancers. I think I'll do one shopping day. That was some good. That was a good ass enhancer, though. All right, let's make sure that I have everything ready to go. Okay. I can sell one of these. But I need to keep one of these, one of these, and this sight enhancer. Right. Uh we'll sell the greater mana potion. Okay, that's our sales for today. One, two, three, when we're done. <sighs> Need more health potions. And then after we're done shop uh, selling in the morning, we'll spend the rest of the day hanging out. Let's make sure, let's try and make one that has no negative side effects. Eh? That'd be good, right? It would sell for really well, at least. 20... 30. And then a 20A and we should be good. Perfect. All right. This will become, huh. Oh, right, it's because I don't have any more of those, um, those twofers. That's, that was, that made the best thing that I could have made. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll just let this brew and it'll be done next week, technically. But that's fine. Do you want to try one last time to get a, a awesome speed potion? I did get some good shit from the uh, our coastline endeavors.
Oh, too full. Uh, need something small. Something that only has 10 total measurements. That did increase it to the next tier, though. Yep. Yeah. This is, uh, this is the best I can do. Uh, so two, four, six, seven, eight. I still need a wood in order to get it done by tomorrow morning. Which, you know, not technically tomorrow morning because, uh, tomorrow is the contest. But that's fine. Okay. So, uh, the plan is sell and then relax. Here we go. Selling first, relaxing later. Maybe I should have relaxed and then sold, but it's fine. Mana, Thunder, Alertness Hanser, all common tier. All with good. Sentence theory is a direct lightning strike. Will unlock a person's full mental potential. The theory has pr proven a lightning rod for controversy, but some townsfolk are willing to try anything. Who oh boy, you. Ah. You're dumb as hell. You're just going to reduce the price of the uh, the potion, right? By 3% and your patient's going to go down? That's fine. Let's see what we got. Now I have to close the deal. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, but highly interested is pretty good. I'll take it. It works for me. Oh, you didn't see me. That sucks. Fire Tonic Sight Enhancer. I can do those. Common. That's good. Enthusiasm! Fuck yeah, enthusiasm. Ah. <sighs> Sorry about the stress. We'll be using three. That's fine. Well, don't be mean. Close it out. Good. We got to highly interested. It's a great potion. Is this potion creepy or wet? It's a good potion, sir. It's fucking wet! Here's hoping we get some more choruses. Here's hoping, crossing my fingers. That'll do. Thank you. Roxanne! So drafty up here. This one is begging to come home with me. The cunning socialite, Roxanne. If I squint, I can almost believe it's worth it. Don't be nervous, I'm only scrutinizing your every move. You sure haven't lost your edge.
It's not worth it to close it out yet. I will be stressed as fuck, but I've got the patience. You're getting colder. She still knows how to get to me. Have a heart, all right? Come on. All right, and this should get us to highly interested, which is totally worth it for the extra bonuses. Your terms are acceptable. Nice buy from your uncle. Uh Half of my cards are going to be stress cards. None of my cards are stress cards. Eat my ass. All right, let's I'm going to hope that um my next card is either it's going to be something good. Yes! Enthusiasm! Raise interest by 24! And uh, have some songs about it, too. Oh, that increased my stress only. Got it. That was a bad thing to do. Whoops. stressed by three. Ugh. It's getting worse and worse. <sighs> yeah, this isn't great. people say I'm hard to please. Ugh, that, I'm glad that's all of them. I need the fucking rest. Jesus. All right. One, two, three, and then these are all not uh, for sale. Traveling away. Let's go hang out with our buddies and pals, please. My skin's gonna be crawling all week, but I did it. Ooh, shrooms. This fungus said to show you colors that don't exist. Thank you. Can we please, can we please hang out? Grab a seat, grab a stack. A fan mail. See if you have a Zid, sort through a stack of letters, she reads the nicest lines out loud. Two more young fans declare their intention to follow Zid into a career of music. Gee, I'd better be careful. One of these young bloods is bound to knock me right off the charts one day. Thank you for moderately stressing me down. Yes. Yes. Excellent. I could hang. I'm glad you can hang. Say, Sylvia, how's your pitch? And before you ask, I don't mean how far you can throw a slime ball. I mean, musically, do you have a good ear? I don't know. Nobody's ever asked me that before. Well, let's try it out. Twinkle, twinkle, little potion. Your maker makes me feel emotion. So what key was that in? Key to my heart. I'm seriously charmed right now. You're cheesy is what you are. It's all right, I like cheesy. But I'm guessing you don't have much of a musical background. Not only that, but I've had a lot of potions explode in my face. My ears were ringing most of the way through college. College? You know, I missed out on that whole thing. I regret it sometimes. Tell me more. Did your career keep you from going to college? You guessed it. I got discovered young when some covers I put online caught a record exec's attention, which is obviously a dream come true. But it also means as far back as I can remember, I've never had a normal life. Whatever normal life means. Good point. I guess there are as many different ways to live as there are people. Still, sometimes I feel a little bit like an alien, like I'm the only one who does, doesn't know the secret handshake. Money and fame open a lot of doors when it happens young. You don't always notice the doors that are closing. But enough of all that, my only real worry at the moment is simple. 
The acoustics in this place are driving me up the wall. I was hoping you could help me with a sound check. It helped me figure out if I need to compensate. It sounds easy enough. All right, Sylvia. I knew I could count on you. Whenever you're ready. Whenever I'm ready for what? Well, to sing, of course. You want me to sing? In front of you, the professional singer. It's the only way this will work. I can't evaluate my own voice at a distance. And no offense, but you're just not discerning enough to tell me what I need to know. So, just sing a bar or two? Promise not to judge. I guess I could sing about... Friendship. Money. Happy payday to you. Happy payday to you. Happy payday, dear shit. Is it my payday too? And many more. <laughs> Ooh, nice surprise at the end there. You really zigged when I thought you were going to zag. Anyway, that's everything I needed. I'll make some adjustments. I wonder how Baptiste would feel about some dampening wards. Are you performing soon? Actually, I'm not. I traded shifts with the juggler. The heroes are going to eat him alive, probably. But I decided that I needed to devote some time to songwriting. You're the one who inspired me to do it, actually. You remember our conversation in the market? That's exciting! What's the song about? I figured I'd start with the hero ballad. I think I've got a unique enough angle. But who should the hero be? I'll let you pick. An underdog! Give the people someone they can't help but root for. And tug on those heartstrings, right? I think you're onto something. Thanks for the input. And thanks for helping me out today. You're more than- you've more than, than earned this. Coupon! Couponbug.com! I guess my singing wasn't so bad after all. If you've got an issue to perform, I know a juggler who could use an opening act. Either way, I hope you'll drop in again soon. The guild hall is a fun place, and it's even better when you're around. Hey, that's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's fucking do this shit. Hell yeah. Have a fruit? You don't like fruit either. What can I send you to go do? Hmm, okay, take one of these two. But uh, but yeah, that'll do. Have fun. Ooh, hell yeah. I think some of these are new. Ooh, a cocoon is a, is a fuel thing. Cool. Would you like some essence? Eh, no. Okay. I don't have any more healing potions, so you're just gonna have to uh, make do with this mana potion and this greater greater alertness enhancer. Yep, sorry. Good choice. I'm on it. Bye, Mint. Have a good day. <sighs> Alright, Quinn. Uh, have some uh, ingredients. I like the look of that one. Good. Ooh, this radish is good. As is this stack of uh, sack of uh, component composite slime. Salt watermelon is good, but it sucks to look at. Fulgurite ore is good, but I think I need more of more basic things. I've got some good A. I think I need B. B vitamins. I've got some good B, actually. But let's keep an eye out for more B and C instead of going for D immediately. B. Let's find a good C. 
I kind of wish I could filter through here. Oh, I need this for, um, health potions. C, 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 D, C. Yeah, C. There we go. Yeah, 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 wait, actually, aren't there better C's than this 20? That's a good B, but I need a good C. I guess I don't, just make sure that it's not here. 12 is not great. 24, I'll take. C. Vitamin C. Not really. We'll take uh, two of these. Just because it's good to have something that I can add that has a good trait. You know? These are also good, but I have a lot of them now. These are going to be good once I need them. One thing that I haven't been looking at is the current quantity that I have. I need to be keeping an eye out for them. I don't have any more of these Fulgurite ores, like, for example. I've only got one of these motes of mana. One salt watermelon. Because if I'm out of it, then that means I probably use it. Actually, I don't use this at all. Uh, that one is a complete outlier and does not uh, address my point at all. These are all too weak to actually be worth it, and they don't add any traits. Uh, but, uh, have some more slime. Thanks, Quinn. Uh, you're a real one. All my potions are ready, and we're ready to do this shit. Let's kick that motherfucker's ass for being too environmentally conscious. And I like the confidence. I was hoping to find you here. This rivalry of ours can't go on much longer. Island's just not big enough to support us both. I've got a solution to that. Why don't you back down? Can't say I see that happening. This land's barely just come back from one ecological disaster. Then you and your ilk, the business folk, could be profit above all else. You all come here by the dozens and start grabbing up whatever you can get your hands on. The land can't sustain it, and I won't stand for it. That's why I'm trying to show you all another way, a better way. Better how? Aren't you the one who prides himself on picking whole areas clean of resources? I don't take more than the land can spare, and I never take anything without giving something back. I can give as well as I take too, so if you come for me tomorrow, be ready for a fight. Survival of the fittest, eh? Wouldn't have it any other way. Good for you telling him off. Yeah, but I've got to wonder. What if he has a point? When I inherited this business from my uncle, I also inherited his way of doing things. But Oswald lured me into the clutches of a pitiless, soul-binding debt collector. Maybe his way of doing things wasn't entirely ethical. Well, I... Listen, I'm sure your uncle would do many things differently. But moral dilemmas and recriminations can wait. Tomorrow your entire focus must be on one thing and one thing only. Winning! Yeah. But also, we should focus on environmentally conscious harvesting practices for our resources. Show confidence, only panic on the inside. Yeah, that's fair. The big day. I'm ready. We're told that there's zero percent chance of rain. The chance of a winged carnivore attack is slightly higher, so let's move things along. 
You know me by now, I am Baptiste, Master of Guild, Tender of Bar, and your host for today's epic contest. On the field below, two fine merchants have taken their places, but only one can be crowned our champion. Who will it be? Our challengers walk the breadth of the wild, and live to tell the tale. He's daring, he's dashing, and he knows firsthand the importance of quality ingredients. Give your warmest raft and well- Hello to Corsac! So many people. He's up against our reigning champ. She's a doer, a brewer, and an entrepreneur. Make some noise for Sylvia! Hey, Corsac. You look a little green. Green around the gills. You want to call it a day? Don't have gills, but now I wish I did. Dang, that guy is ice cold. Our judge today needs no introduction, but he's getting one anyway. Idol of millions, inspiration heroes, and envy of artis artisans everywhere. Give it up for Robin! You're too kind, Baptiste. Too kind. It has been said. Now let's get down to business, shall we? Didn't think there'd be so many people. <clears throat> Doesn't change anything. Hunter keeps his focus on his prey. <laughs> now he's shy. This tonic is made with the delicate whiskers of the hi hypnopotamus. Those are hard to come by. The trick is you've got to tickle him first. An interesting technique. I'd value the resulting potion at... 215. Seems fair. You think you can beat that, Sylvia? Oh boy. No animals were tickled in the creation of this potion. It's definitely a nice tonic, I can tell by the frost. I mean, it's a quality concoction. They can be hard sell in the summertime, can't they? I'll price this one at... 137, a minus 5. I'm ready. Whew. Let's see. Uh, sympathy or... Yeah, sympathy. We can focus on the opening act later. I don't know about that. Eh? Did you remove my buff? You're going to do five stress to me. That's not good. Probably doesn't stop to think of the harm she causes the environment. I mean, I think everything is organic. Ugh. Come on. Don't you worry about your footprint. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, give me some good cards. Give me some good cards. <sighs> if I close it out now, I won't get any better. But I'm replacing all the eyeballs with cruelty-free substitute. But... It sounds gross. All right, it's increased, but I need, gotta turn this around. I also need to turn this around. I can't get to the next tier. Ugh. I use a cold press technique that extracts a finer ingredient and leaves the swap manatee feeling rejuvenated. Oof. Am I not supposed to just throw the whole manatee in the cauldron? Damn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Now, if I close that out, I would get an extra 10%, which would be 35%, which was started at 130-something. 10%. Do I need to whip out my calculator for this? All right, calculator. Uh, 137 times 0.1 is 13.7. And 137 times 0.25 is 34. Plus 137 is 171. No, okay. Uh, 180 divided by 0.25. Whoops. Man, I can't use the, uh, the number pad without activating all my emotions. Uh, 180 divided by 25% is... Nope, 180... X times 25%. X times 125. 
the starting price of the evaluation is 144 gold. So, if I up that to 144 times uh, 1, uh, point, 1. 1.35 instead of 1.45, it'll be 1.194 plus an extra 5% for the closing, which would not be worth it. So, I must end the turn and hope that I get better cards next turn. I will not be able to beat it like this. I am at 86 stress. There is a very high likelihood that I will not be able to do anything. Okay. Let's muscle memory? No. Let's... Pump up chorus. This chorus will only do one. Chorus did two. Damn. I'm too stressed out for this. Ugh. Well, I didn't win that one, and I am stressed to fuck and back. Well, let's try it. Not what I wanted to hear. Sounded sweet enough to me. Korosek is in the lead! Let's move on to round two. While, where I am 98% stressed. I just can't stand to see a goblinoid cry. Sounds salty. I'd value it at 215. Okay. Totally even. I should take a minute. Okay. Let's get rid of... Do I not have Captivate? I don't have Captivate in, uh, on this at all. Keep your guard up is good. Let's get rid of some of the choruses. Let's get rid of one of the choruses. Let's get rid of one of the jingles. And let's get uh, some stress relief down in here. You must be pleased as a skunk fruit. I am. Thank you. What happens if I reach 100% stress? Ah, you die. Got it. That makes sense. Does this mean the owl's for sale? Damn. No! This is so sad! So they couldn't pay off her debt and now lives in a box. This is fucking tragic. <sighs> I can do this. I just need to not waste all of my stress levels on that first potion. Your mama's a manatee. If only that were true. Dang, that guy's ice cold. And he's also shy. Alright, is it still gonna be... Ah, the ice tonic first. It was still the ice tonic first the last time too. I don't think I need to change much. Alright, let's toss the deck and let's start it up. Uh, let's see. Elevator pitch is a good opener. Kind of need to lean into it a little bit. Let's get some stress relief. Let's get one opening act. 
Uh, Chorus is good as my main damage dealer. I like it. Um, but I need more shield. So let's get some sympathy and some shield. Muscle memory is good. Captivate is good. Subvert. Remove one random customer buff. Draw three cards, discard any of the three, they do not raise interest. That's good. I'll take one of those. Uh, I've got two more card slots. So... Let's reduce our stress. I, I need my stress down. For This is a long battle. This is gonna be a long battle. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That works. You're going to uh, complain and give me five stress? That's okay. I can deal with that. Because I've got some more shields in the back. Which includes doing 15 damage. Nice. You do have to turn this around, but I have to turn it around more. Ugh. Double stress from all sources. That sucks. Luckily, it doesn't stack in terms of, like, double-double, but it just, uh... It just means that it lasts for longer. Oh, that shield went fast. Ugh. All right, okay, we've got some shield. I am pleased with myself. I'm glad I raised the interest level by one. Okay, I need to get the next 17 interest. Which is just one more, one more, uh, uh, chorus card. All right, let's meditate. Let's do muscle memory. And we'll lean into it. I am so stressed that that worked. Ugh, I need another seven. Ugh, my stress is so high. It's too high. All right. This is my last chance. Oh, I, I can't win this. Okay. Well then, let's decrease stress by one. Yeah, let's just decrease, decrease stress by one. Close, but no cigar. <sighs> but I think I got into this one with much less stress, and that's good. I 
elevator pitch. Meditate and keep my guard up. Oh, I just win. Cool. The meditate was good, though, to do that first. Oh, he's mad. Now, it's a lot to consider, but Sylvia's won me over. It's all tied up. Who was counting me out? But, dang, this competition is the best platform I've got to make my message heard. So I'm going to adapt. Overcome. And time to unleash the beast. I guess it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. This is going to be a nail biter. He's an animal now. This one is for the victory. Corsac, speed potion, like you asked. Looks to be of good quality. Can't take too much credit. Quality's on account of the luminous tail feather from a vampiric peacock given freely in the spirit of cooperation and friendship. You hate to put a price on that, and yet... 255. Two I'd say that's more than fair. Ugh. Ugh. The speed potion's the final good one? Ugh. Yarg is right. I don't think I can do this like this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need to win in the first round. That's what I need to do. I'm going to try it one more time, and then I'm going to have to uh, go back even further and actually... What I'll need to do is lose my stress. Your potions aren't so great. And neither are you. You don't need to get personal, is there? I need to win on this ice potion. It's just gonna be hard. I think I did a good job. I think I just need better RNG, less stress cards. Alright, so... Should I pump up and do 12 now? Or should I t do 6 now and pump up for the next turn? <sighs> pump up for the next turn. Here we go. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I need to get rid of this shield as quickly as possible. So... Unfortunately, this won't be enough to win, so I can't close it out. Maybe I should get rid of the closers. Come on, RNG. There we go, chorus. Course with sympathy is good too. All right, and we've got five shield. It's a shame that we've got tension, but it's fine. We've got five shield. I have Newton Toe Frog aren't sustainable. You should try bean based substitutes. But it sounds gross. Beans sounds gross. Beans are great. Sylvia, you're you're not based at all. Here we go. Maximum power! My stress isn't as high as it could be. And I just have one more turn to get 30, 30 interest.
Damn it! Oh! Oh, by one! The closer put it up by one! By one! Because of the 5% boost from the closer. Fuck yeah! Oh, I'm so good at card games and getting good luck. It's time to unleash the beast. And you're fucking weird, bro. Alright, the 215 speed potion, which I can beat. I've beaten it before. It's got five stars. It's bomb as hell. I'm ready. I hope you'll consider my meticulous ethical sourcing and the nice little sparkles, too. It's my fucking turn, bro! Ooh. Ooh, my stress. Ooh, my stress. Ow. Oof. Ouch. 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 Come on. Excellent. All right, I did it. I won. Eat my ass. I did it. 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 Both contestants should be proud of their performance today. But there's no need to continue, is there? We have a winner, and it's Sylvia. I should have written a speech for this moment. Corsac's comeuppance is the achievement I got. All I've prepared are the cries of a wounded animal. You love to see it. You love to see it. Ah, I did it. Should have seen that coming, I suppose. Life in the wilderness prepares a man for many things. Running a business might not be one of them. Hey, there's no need to give up completely, is there? Maybe it's the winner's rush talking, but I'm starting to enjoy our rivalry. Honestly, I'm not so sure potion making is my calling. Only wanted to show the world there was a better way of doing things. Show them that success doesn't have to come at the expense of nature. But I always plan to take a step back after today, intended to use my winnings to fund a new series of expeditions. The more time I spend here, the more I want to be out there. If it's expeditions you want, there might be a way to make that happen. The Heroes Guild needs people who can handle themselves out in the wilderness. Based on what I've seen, they'll be, they'd will be they be lucky to have you. Well, isn't that a thought? Might not be a bad idea. Might be worth talking to Baptiste about. Hmm. Yeah, don't thank me or anything. Solving problems, that's just what I do. Solving problems. And winning competitions?! I love getting money for the brief moments that I get the money. And so it looks like Corsac will be joining the Heroes Guild. Remarkable. Just remarkable. Ah, uh, you weren't worried, were you? I keep telling you that I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you'd prevail. What surprises me is the compassion you show your competitors. Were I in your shoes? I'm not sure I'd do the same. We're all just people, Al. We deserve opportunities to make our way in the world. And besides, having Corsac in the guild will mean more access to more resources. That's good for my shop, and it doesn't hurt that he kind of owes me big time. You're really thinking ahead now. Apply that to your daily negotiations, you'll be hard to beat. In fact, just throw everything you know at your customers and let them sort it out. Barrage. Raise interest by two for every card in your hand. Hmm. That's good for a deck that has a lot of card drawing, but it's not so good because card... Uh, hand... Uh... Hands increase based on the number of turns that pass, so I don't see the value in that card. Forget hard to beat, I'm feeling unstoppable! Careful, Sylvia. Hubris has been the downfall of many a promising witch. Eep. Although you've certainly made some impressive strides in a short time. You think so? I guess being forcibly soulbound to another person's crushing debt is a good source of motivation. Who would have figured? If that's the case, then I'm happy to have been of some service to you. Now, I believe you have a deposit to make. I can't bear to watch. Brrr, bing. Everything appears to be in order. Dang, that would have bought a lot of ramen. But I'm in the groove now. You'll have your next payment in 10 days. Count on it. I certainly am. Until then. You can come out now. I'm sorry. It's just that woman. I get it. She's intimidating. But don't worry. I can handle her on my own. You've been a huge help, Owl. Don't think otherwise for a minute. 
It's very funny that the, uh, the celebration is still going on. I- thank you, that's... Not like that deadbeat Oswald, I swear. It's enough to make me want to learn necromancy. So I can raise him from the dead just to kill him all over again. Ah. Yes, you have every right to be angry. Of course you do. We best turn in. Tomorrow the cycle begins anew. At least we're in this together. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. I'm impressed, I'll admit it. Alright, so what I've learned from boating class is uh, that I need to uh, focus more on reducing my stress before a big day. Are you ready to continue your march toward glory? I have something that ought to be of help. A new upgrade to your license. With this, you're authorized to brew, bro, brew a whole new range of potions. Thank you for doing that. Paperwork is my mortal enemy. I pride myself on being organized. In fact, I have the details for the next competition right here. <sighs> I suppose it was foolhardy to think I could keep this one in mint condition. Anyway, remember, each new competition comes with new potion requirements. Potions are getting more advanced, but so too is the reward. I guess I don't get a day off, huh? No rest for the wicked. Or the insolvent. Hey there, chum. How's business? Well, shush now. That was a rhetorical question. I already know the answer. Business is real hard, isn't it? Oh no, he's British? Okay. Business is real hard, isn't it? All the upkeep, all those customers, all that math. Wouldn't you like to lay those burdens down? What do you say to an early retirement and you just send all your customers my way? Boss Finn will take real good care of them. Oh, I see. You must be my rival in the next competition. Well, sorry, but I'm no quitter. If you want to take a bite out of my business, you're in for a fight. Oh, ho, ho, so the minnow's got some teeth. But I'm the big fish in this small pond, and you're an appetizer at best. Funny that you mention appetites, because the overwhelming stink of body spray is totally spoiling mine. I'll just excuse myself from your sight then. Of course, that means you won't even see you won't see me when I come for you. And I will come for you. Well, he's a charmer, isn't he? Forget taking a day off. If it means trouncing that guy, I can't wait to get back to work. Da -da 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 -da. Radish prefer potions and rogues enjoy enhancers. So potions and enhancers are what's uh, gonna sell good today. Uh, we're gonna call it here. Uh, every every ten days is a very good stopping point. It might even be too long of a stopping point, uh, but uh, you know, whatever. Uh, I just want to make sure that we get a good idea of what to do next. Not that I'm gonna be paying too much attention, because you know, whatever. Silence cure, per petrification cure, insight enhancer. And Dowsing Enhancer. multi magimin ingredients. Eh. And what's for the competition? Poison Cure. Grand Poison Cure or higher. Grand Thunder Tonic or higher. And Grand Stamina Potion or higher. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well... Uh, we'll figure out what to brew next time. Uh, but yeah, we don't have any money. Uh, and today's a good selling day. We'll be able to sell these greater health potions, these greater speed potions, this greater enhancer, this greater... Well, tonic won't be able to sell, but we've got a lot of potions and enhancers that we can sell. That'll be good. Though, we should also focus on making sure that our heroes have these things. Though, uh, the new areas will probably not have, uh... Eh, we'll, we'll figure it out next week. Let's just go ahead and save. There we go. Alrighty. Now, that's gonna be it for today. Let's head on over to the title screen. That's not the title screen. We'll just have the title music play while we switch over to the Hangout screen. Thank you all so much for coming by, watching, uh, checking this out later if you're watching the VOD. Uh, it's been a real blast. Uh, this game's pretty fun. Uh, I underestimated uh, Corsac because I, I got an easy fight with uh, uh, Roxanne. So... 
Next time, I won't underestimate Finn. I will do my absolute best to get rank uh, five star grand rank potions. And I will be sure to be zero stress on the day of the competition. I will just pass the time away. Fuck my friends, fuck the relationships, just go to sleep. You can't work and have a you cannot work and have a positive social life at the same time. It just isn't possible, okay? Are we clear on that? I'm clear on that now. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Anyways, thank you all so much for coming by and watching and hanging out. Uh, we'll see if we do this again tomorrow, but eh, we'll see. But in the meantime, uh, thank you for staying in my orbit. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody live that we can raid? It's 2 a.m. on a Friday night, so I doubt it. And nobody I'd feel comfortable raiding. So, uh, yeah. Hope you have a good night. Bye.